evening, everyone! How's everyone doing on this fine Friday night? Are you guys doing good? You guys doing great? You guys doing synonyms for good or antonyms for bad or antonyms for good or synonyms for good or any other way to <laughs> raid? <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Luna, right as I started the stream. That was well-timed, actually. That was really well-timed. Well done. Anyway, uh, you guys having a good couple of days? Because I know someone who isn't having a good couple of days, and that someone or something is the entire site of Twitter.com. But I'm not going to cover that right now. I'll save that for later. But anyway, you guys are probably wondering what we're doing today. And what we're doing today is located in the middle of the screen. And the game we are playing today is... <gasps> Cooking Companions! Yeah, it's Cooking Companions. We're playing it. You happy? You have? Are you happy now? It's here! I'm here, okay? <laughs> Anyway, thank you for the subs. Now that one cool guy. Thank you, Luna, for the raid. Thank you, Price, for gifting a sub. Thank you, Luna, for resubbing at tier 3 for 21 months. And thank you... Spin. Th thank you, Snowvex, for the sub for 35 months. But yeah, anyway. Uh, now, this game was highly, highly, highly recommended. Like, I have had DMs, tweets, comments, emails... Everyone asking me to play this game. Please don't burn the pot pie again, please. We had to replace the entire kitchen because of that. Wait, one year with Hatman as well. <laughs> how time flows and huh. flows. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Hey, thank you for all the subs. Oh yeah, we got hype train back instead of boost train, so we can go beyond level five on the hype train. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um. I'll wait, I'll wait for the, uh, I'll wait for the subs to go through, but yeah, um, so this game was highly, highly, highly recommended, like, I had emails, tweets, DMs, including from the developers of the game themselves, they straight Three up went and you. asked me to play the game. And they even sent me a code as well. So thanks to the developers of uh, Cooking Companions for gifting me a code Six to play months, the game. Now, recently I've been having a lot of issues with my internet and uh, I am overpaying for the shittiest internet possible, I swear to God. Like, you know how much I'm paying for terrible speeds and downtime sometimes? You don't want to know. In fact, I'll tell the editor and I'll make the editor put it on the screen so people on stream wouldn't know. But I'm constantly getting dropped frames and it's really bloody annoying. Like, it's it's terrible. It's terrible. I'm overpaying for it. Anyway, um... So, Cooking Companions, I have been told that I should go into the game expecting something similar to Doki Doki Literature Club in terms of tone. And I mean, you can already tell from the logo of the game and everyone telling me, oh God, this game is actually so scary. And I'm like, I didn't want to know that. It would have been better if I didn't know the contents of the game like that before I played. It's the problem with being so late to these kind of games. Like it's, it's I think the big issue about being late to these kind of games is that Everyone spoils the best parts of it before I get to it. Like, I, I was lucky I played Doki Doki Literature Club the second it released and made a video about it before it blew up. Because if I did it afterwards, imagine someone who's never played DDLC playing it right now and everyone is just like, oh God, wait until you get to the scary part. I, just, I didn't want to know that. I, I didn't want to know that. The. <laughs> Thank you, Oliver, for the the, for the the sub. But yeah, let's try and get beyond level five on the hype train. I think we can go past level five. So, uh, and also they changed the UI so you can see who the top gifters are while the hype train's going, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I guess without further... <gasps> let's go and open Cooking Companions for the very first time. I have actually never uh, opened the game, by the way, so um, I don't know what to expect. They 
thank you for the thank you for the gifted subs, Luna. Thank you for the five. Oh wait, the sub goal shows as well. That's sick. Oh my god. I'm waiting I'm waiting for the uh the sub goal to update because on screen my actual sub count's 552. Full transparency. It's five it's 552. Anyway. I hope you guys are hungry because we are going to be playing some cooking companions. Uh, let's open the game. Sir? Oh no! It's windowed! And it closed! Hey, and it reopened! Thanks for being here during Kaiser. We Yay! Oh my god! Cooking companions! Yay! The default kids cheering sound effect. Can we get kids cheering sound effects all over the video? All, all of them. Just get confetti. Uh, get a couple of logos on the screen. Just, just get everything around. I want, I want multicolored, uh, multicolored epileptic uh, visuals on the screen now. Now, do it now, editors. Get the get get the um, the TBH on. It's a it's a it's a parade. Chat, I don't I don't see you guys in the celebratory mood. Chat, you need to be celebrating. To be fair, we're not past we're not past 100 percent on the hype train. We're not past 100 percent on the hype train. All right. Anyway, in the meantime, the first sin is that it's in windowed mode. I need to I need to fix that. All right, full screen. There we go. Uh, the BGM's pretty loud. Voice? That's VA? Oh, I thought it was going to be something else. Anyway, back to title. All right. Chat, you know what to do. You know what to do. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to my editor as well. You know what you know what to do. Alright, anyway, uh welcome everyone and all to uh Cooking Companions. This game was recommended to me by everyone, including the developers themselves, who were nice enough to send me a key a couple of months ago, uh, and I only got to it now. So there's that. <laughs> I only got to it now. You know me. Late to the stuff again. All right. Anyway, um, as you can tell, this game is a happy game where absolutely nothing bad's ever going to happen. Let's play. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? Shit, but if you have ADHD, you would get easily disturbed by like the slightest thing. Wait, there's a butterfly over there. Okay. Anyway, this game is not suitable for people who are those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? Please read this carefully. Uh. Shit. Well. <laughs> well, uh. Um. Uh, so my mind is, my mind is telling me no. But my body is telling me yes. Oh wait, lights off. Oh, here we go. I thought that was meant to be voice acting. All right, I guess I'm gonna do it myself. All right, Gregor. That walk was brutal, but this cabin is amazing. If that isn't the most, if that isn't, where's the why? Where's the why in the Greg? Where's the why in the Gregor? Wait, come on. Come on, come on now. All right, anyway. Is it, if that isn't the most Arthur Morgan looking at her. All right. <clears throat> that walk was brutal, but this cabin's amazing. Full kitchen, running water. It really has everything. Huh. And it's... Why did I... Why did I... Why did I think that said Ayatollah? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long stream, isn't it? All right. Finally, a place I can read a good book. Wait, he's going to be a nerd. He looks like a nerd. All right. Finally, a place where I can read a good book in peace. I can't wait to... to ah! What the? Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, beautiful. You don't have to call me beautiful. I'm not beautiful, am I? No. No. 
It's sorry, everyone. It must be the dust. Get those allergies under control, Maria. <laughs> Mariah? Oh, Maria, Mariah. Oh, my God, it's Mariah Carey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're doing the, the, the thing. It's... I, I chose I chose the wrong time to play this. Why is Karen already a bitch? All right. Um. No worry, guys. I'm sure with a little elbow grease we can make this cabin shine. So are you volunteering to clean, Gregor? No. Oh God, this game. <laughs> I love how it's just oh God, this game. Not, not many supplies here. Guess we'll grab to get what we need. There's a fireplace for making stew, so let's gather up some firewood, okay? Leave that to me, little guy. Oh my god, it's, it's Montgomery! It's Montgomery Gator! It's like the only words that he knows is hey, and little, and guy. I'll tidy up around the cabin. Need to save Maria from dying due to this dust. Ha, ha, ha. Hey! Hey, what are you saying, fam? Allergies is nothing to joke about, Karen. She's not dead yet. Pip squeak? Ooh. She's not dead yet. <laughs> Calm down. Thanks, Anna Todd. Why, why is yet? Why, why is yet? That's that's some foreshadowing, isn't it? Thanks, Ayatollah. I think I'll go for foraging outside. With over 450 mosses, 900 fungi, and 70 slime molds, there's bound to be treasure up here. Roughing it is fun, blood. Anna Tolly knows so much about edible foods. We're in good hands here. I think the... <clears throat> Slime molds will be the most delicious. Yeah, that 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 beeple's intentional. I hope you didn't check your speakers then. I could I could gaslight you guys into thinking that you guys have got Discord messages. I think my editor's gonna do that. You know what, editor? You know what'd be really funny if you randomly put Discord pink sound effects throughout the video. That'd be really funny. <laughs> most certainly not. What about the fungi? Do you even know which ones are poisonous, Anatoly? I... I... Uh, I can figure that out. You can be the canary in the coal mine, Anatoly. I'm not ending up a corpse here. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> yes! Yeah. <laughs> Keep both eyes open, little guy. Actually, I'm going to go little guy. I'm going boy. Keep both eyes open, boy. Plenty of wolves and brown bears around. Nah, they won't be a problem. I read up in 10 different techniques to incapacitate them. Number one is... Anatoly! <laughs> oh, yeah. So sorry, Maria. Got carried away again. Ha <laughs> ha. Listen, yeah, I'll help Anatoly look for food. I'm definitely better off with like warden of wild animals, like tigers and shit, blood. If we come up empty handed, we can always eat some of the food we brought. You mean the emergency rations? Bad idea, chump. God damn, what's with the, what's, what's with the, what's with the, um, uh, What's with the slurs, man? Hey, Anatoly and Maria are getting food. Gregor is gathering the firewood. That makes you our designated chef. Me? Me? <laughs> this is the pointing at oneself. Me? Everyone's looking at you expectantly. You nod. Yes, me. All right. Very excited to try your cooking. All right, everyone. Let's go to work while there's still sunlight. Later. They all disappeared. Mariah. Anatoly. 
Gregor. The three exit the cabin, leaving you and Karen alone. I think Anatoly put the supplies in the kitchen. Thanks for helping out with the cooking. <clears throat> to save the game, right click or hit the escape button on your keyboard to pull up the menu. This menu will also allow you to adjust volume levels or exit to the title screen to view unlockables. PLEASE NOTE! Going back to the main menu or exiting the game without saving will remove progress you've made. Be sure to save. Do you have experience making meals? Uh, wait. I'm not ready. Let me save. Empty data. Alright, back to the game. Uh, uh, what do you mean butter them up as a uh, achievement? Of course. Probably not. I mean, I make meals. I, I, I make meals. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good mealer. Of, of course. Is that so? Hmm. Looking at you, I think you'd be good at serving up food poisoning. Oh my god. You're absolutely right, but how did you know I'd be good at serving up food poisoning? Right? It looks like Karen will remember that. Oh no! Oh no! Telltale mechanics! Oh no! Anyways, going to check out the living room. Let's talk later. Karen heads to the living room and starts dusting a little bit. You decide to look around the kitchen to find the ingredients for the meal tonight. Tutorial. You never know what you'll find around the cabin. Clues and secrets may be revealed by searching an area more than once. Thank you, Pricey, for the sub! Why not give it a try? What area you want to search first? Uh, let me do the cupboards. Yes, you. Yes, you in the chat. Got any funny clips? Send them to Thaf Clips channel in the Discord. Yes! Hey, if you have any funny clips, put them on the put them on the Discord server. Also, yes, pull the rhythm. Thank you for the sub pricey. Why is there a mouth? There is a what? Hmm. Hmm. Why do we have a cauldron as well for potions? I'm going to check the cupboards. The first few cupboards are empty. Anatoly must have put the supplies somewhere else. I'm going to check the cupboards again. You check the cupboards again. Just some mouse turds and cobwebs. Ew! Ah! Mouse, mouse shit. Ah! Ah! This is disgusting. Ow! But it's so disgusting, I disconnected for a second. All right. Three times, third time's the charm. You check the cupboards underneath the sink. What was that? You found a dead mouse! Ew! Ew! Wait, hang on. Is this like Rat Chef all over again? We're gonna cook Stuart. Stuart? Steward? Steward? CPR! CPR! Medic! Medic! Also, um... Mods, why haven't you changed the game yet? Anyway. This would be a great gift to give to Karen. Wait, really? No, it wouldn't. You added the dead mouse to your inventory. Alright, let's try behind the wood pile. There's nothing but cobwebs back here. Don't lie to me like that. L don't don't lie to me like that. Thankfully, no spiders. What do you mean, thankfully, no spiders? That's just bait. That's that's bait. Thank you. Thank you, holy freaking crap, for the sub for 11 months. I'm going to check the wood pile again. You look at the wood logs closer. This is just a pile of Norway spruce. I'm going to check one more time. Third time's a charm. The Norway spruce won't burn as hard as logs from an oak tree. These would be useless during a snowfall. All right, the drawers. 
You check the drawers on the left. Just some dirty Kneeves. Oh my god, the Kneeves? Why are they dirty? You check the drawer above the mouse hole. See, that's the one I was thinking of. Some kind of mold is growing in this one. Maybe Karen will find it app. Oh! Ew! Ew! That's disgusting! Oh! I'll check the drawer one more time. Okay, drop above the wood pile. Something's making it difficult to open. Uh-oh! You pull it open with all your might. What's in there? Talking cabbage! It's like the it's like the trope in a uh in a um animated movie or like an animated live action movie where they um where you see something that's not supposed to be moving start speaking and it's like ah! and then they go ah! and then you go ah! and then they go ah! <laughs> it's all, okay. all right, it's time. Champette, sound off! Yeah. No. Can catch a stream from the hat man. Hey, thank you, Kubey, for the su- Kubey? What the fuck are you doing here? Shouldn't you have magical girls to indoctrinate? What the fuck? Alright, anyway, onion! Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion! Raspberry. Always marry raspberry! Cabbage ain't saying shit. Hey! Potato? Cabbage stuff means it is dro- Oh! I'm pretty sure this counts as kidnapping. Um. That doesn't sound inviting. <laughs> Where are the champettes? Um. So what do I do with this information? Why talk with those boring humans? All they have to give you is drama. True. True. Come chat with us instead. We all share valuable recipes you can cook. <laughs> and then they start. And then they start cooking meth. Quick, editor, meth tutorial. Alright, we're back. And we're back! I hope you learned something. We'll share with you our secret trumpet recipes. Meth tutorial! Collect them all to become a five-star chef. Uh-oh. You can find uncooked recipes in the main menu under extra, but be sure to save the game. Okay. To celebrate, here's your first recipe card. Roasted eggplant with sesame and pomegranate meat free. Man. None of y'all vegans, they never said nothing that I could fuck with. All right, we just got cheap and foods here. Um, <clears throat> You unlocked your first recipe! Why is the potato so sussy though? That's what I want to know. Cause I, look, I love how it's like, I love how the text is so bold. It's like, soda! If you ever want to talk, just come to the drawer. S something tells me I shouldn't come to the drawer. Chumpets! <laughs> Let's move out! Autobots, roll out! Cabbage rudely slams the drawer closed. You wonder if what you just saw was real. Are those real? <laughs> You're slightly worried about what this means for your mental state. If that ain't the if that ain't obvious that there's something afoot. It was like, am I Am I crazy? Editor, am I crazy? I'm not looking at you, am I? I'm looking at the complete other direction. Editor, move. 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 Am I crazy? Then again, if you're watching this on the VODs channel. I look like a total schizo. Thank you for the sub anti -social. What we cooking tea dog? Methy. 
Yeah, you're insane, hack. I'm I'm insane. I'm wicked? No. Really? Oh, you didn't have to. That's sick. But only slightly. Hey. Did you find the supplies? You shake your head. Fuck you mean I didn't find the supplies? Oh. Anatoly lied. He actually put them in the bedroom. Idiot. Fuckhead. Moron. Pillock. Here you go. You got you got the emergency supplies. It's so the text is so bold. Hi, I missed the first part of the stream, but I'm here now. Did I miss anything? I don't think you did. Welcome, Pixel Palace, and thank you for the sub. Uh, why are they hanging out if they hate each other? See, that's what that's what is called Discord servers. All right. All right. See, this uh, games like these tend to have multiple endings. Should I go for the worst possible one? What if we do go for the worst possible ending? All right. You start a fire with some of the wood and get to work on cooking dinner. Tonight's entry, vegetable stew. In a large saucepan over medium heat, you heat some water with potatoes, carrot, and celery. Celery, celery, so crunchy. Put them all into a pot. Add a little chili if you like things hot. 15 minutes later, you drain the pan and set the vegetables aside. Placing some butter in the saucepan, you melt it over medium heat. Oh, I got the ASMR. Ah, oh, yeah. Throwing some chopped onions in. You cook it about 10 minutes. The onions are tender and translucent. Perfect. You next mix in some flour, salt, pepper, and heavy cream into the saucepan, adding the vegetables into the mixture. Hours pass. Oh, no, everything's all... Ah! Right. We're back. More, more, more firewood than you'll ever need. We found some wild sorrel. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a bigger bounty. I told you burying the lead. We would like, listen, listen, yeah. We saw a red deer. Believe that, man. Believe me, yeah. <laughs> we saw a red deer. Spanning it. Karen, if if Karen isn't if Karen isn't the most sus person in this entire cast, like, come on. Unless this unless this is like. I feel like this is a red herring. Quite literally characterized by the fact that Karen's red and has red red hair. There is ain't no way it's this obvious that Karen is this sus. This is a red herring. I I know it. Alright, Karen's saying nothing. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, <laughs> she doesn't care. I killed I killed. 17 spiders today while you are out looking at deer 17 spiders how'd you kill them <gasps> ah! that should come as no surprise there's over 160 species of spiders here oh 160 <laughs> don't worry mariah i'm sure they're all in the bathroom or something <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Almost all of them were near the couch. Bruh. Bruh, this, bruh, bruh, this bitch crazy. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I was going to sleep on the couch. That's where 16 of them were. <laughs> I'm not sleeping on that couch then. I'll bed I'll bed elsewhere. Hmm. And there's only two beds in the bedroom. Just get, bro, just get in bed. I don't get it. Share the bed. What's wrong with that? 
Just go unless unless you sleep spread eagled. Someone sleeps on one side and the other one sleeps on the other side. This isn't NCS. No one's going to bang. Don't sweat it, man. I can sleep anywhere, so I'll sleep in the rocking chair. I'll sleep with one eye open, just in case any of them swarm the couch. Uh, safe, yeah? Safe, Gregor. Karen and Anatoly, you two take the bedroom. Why is, why is Karen and Anatoly in the same room? That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound right. I <laughs> think, big guy. Oh my god. He's a big guy! For you? That means he's Bane! Gre Gregor is Bane in disguise! Joke's on you, Gregor. I always planned on taking one of the beds. Hey, Anatoly. I snore louder than a lumberyard. <laughs> Sweet dreams. You turn back to your bubbling vegetable stew and try a bite. <gasps> Scrub! This tastes pretty good. <gasps> you cook vegetable stew! Oh my god! So, <laughs> I just really love how it's big. You set the table and ask everyone to dig in. Alright, dig in! Whoa! Something's not right here. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Something ain't right. Why is the eyes don't the eyes don't look right? Why is and why is Anatoly look like that? I know they're all I know they're all staring at us, but like. Like, why are you looking at me? Concentrate on your food! Concent Concentrate on your food! Why are you staring at me for? Oh, wow. This smells delicious. Thank you. That's mighty kind of you, main character. Bam, you must be you, you must be a Premier League chef. Karen takes a bite. Hey, what are you frowning about? Hey, what are you fr what are you frowning for? Why are you guys why why are you staring at me though? I'm not that hot. Like, come on. Come on. I'm not that why are you staring at me like that? Why is Karen? It's bland as hell. <gasps> Bitch! What? Bitch, what the fuck? I literally just you know what? You know what? You know what? She's just saying that that's bait. That's bait. It was cooked to perfection. You know nothing about good food. You cook it then. You cook it. Karen! Tastes like every other vegetable stew I've had. So generic. Could probably use some meat next time. Bro, shut the fuck up. Stop being a Karen. Stop being a Karen. Gross. Uh, for a side we could bake some bread and utilize the frog Vesca, <laughs> also known as strawberry for some jam. Nobody cares, Pipsqueak. Yeah, there's no way that Karen is something isn't up with Karen. Something is up. Why does Karen, why is Karen out for everyone's blood? Everyone laughs at Karen's polite ribbon. That wasn't polite. Whoa, something's not right. Something, uh, I, all I'm saying is something ain't right. Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Zorrible vibes in the studio today, besties. This could very well be the best day you've ever had. Is this an unreliable narrator? Who is... Okay, who has control over the game? Monica? Mon wait. Monica! 
Monica! Monica, what? Where, where? where are you at? Get out of my game! Mo Monica, get out of my game! <laughs> you go to bed stuffed. Monica! Get out of my game! You, you had your time in the spotlight! Ah! I thought I said di Dio. <laughs> Dio. Dayi! <laughs> Oh my god, Dayi. Oh damn, look at this. Look at this place. Look at this cabin. This is this is quite literally cabin cabin in the woods. There's gonna be like a secret society of um people who are making sure the monster, whatever the monster is, kills everyone here by the end of the game. All right. Hey, you up? How'd you sleep? I was so warm last night, I didn't even need a blanket. Oh, whoa. Whoa, what, what time is it? About one hour until dawn. <gasps> until dawn? That's something that's on the VOD channel that you can watch right now. It's available on Thug VODs. I may get a T9 video depending on how many likes this video gets. Oh, God, why are you angry? Will, you two pipe down! I'm trying to sleep over here! Oh, oh my god. Oh. Gregor, the boys, the boys, the boys outside aren't making much noise. The boys outside aren't making much noise yet. Right, the boys outside? Boys? What the fuck? What are they doing in a cabin in the wood? We didn't bring many supplies, remember? Better to get a head start on gathering food. I honestly can't see the trees outside right now. Gregor, did you see any spiders last night? There was a small one in the bathroom. Ah! Actually, I did see a centipede by the sick <laughs> giant enemy spider. Mariah turns a little pale. Carriage messing with you, Mariah. Let's find more than wild sorrel today. Gah! If you're lucky, little guy. If you're lucky, boy. Maybe I'll teach you how to catch some wild brown trout. I'm gonna save just in case. Alright. What's with you and meat, big guy? Hmm. What is with you and meat, huh? What's with you and big meat? Is that something you want to explain? He's a cannibal, isn't he? So you want you want to explain? First time, lol. Welcome to Mr. Games. Listen, Anatoly's herbalism book stated that there's many more species of plants to eat out here. Let's leave the fish alone. Exactly, yeah. We leave the fish alone. I don't know what you're talking about. You know I'm not uh into meat. <laughs> We're not into eating that gas piece of chicken. Imagine just <laughs> that's a big piece of chicken. Right. That's a shame. I'd wake up early to go fishing. Cheer up, Karen. We'll get to observe the trout at the very least. Maybe we'll see more red deer today. Hmm, that sounds like a waste of time, Gregor. Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe we'll find some blackthorn berries. I love blackthorn berries. Ha uh, ha! <laughs> we'll be back later. Can you watch our stuff today? You not? No, I can't. No, I know I can't watch this stuff today. Th thank you. Thanks. Huh. Don't steal anything, okay? You know. Yes. I wouldn't steal a thing. You can trust me. I wouldn't steal a goddamn thing. What do you take me for? A thief? I wouldn't steal a damn thing. Briar, 
Maria, Anatoly, uh, Natalie, <laughs> I'll say uh, Natalie. Gregor and Karen leave the cabin with a hop to their step. M A G K, Cam, G Cam, G Gam, G Mag K. Uh oh, wait, they're gone. You're alone, but thankfully, you have a drawer of trumpets to keep you company. Each day, you'll be asked to explore different parts of the cabin. You only get one choice, then the day will end. Choose wisely. What do you want to check out today? No! Actually, wait, no, this could work. I forgot to save right before! I forgot! Oh! 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 Okay, uh, which one are we gonna do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo the basement. Like, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but if there's an option, if there's an option to go to the basement, I'm a virus. I love scary shit. Guarantee you there's some scary shit in the basement. All right, this door goes into the basement. There's no reason to go into the basement right now. What do you mean? What do you mean there's no reason to go into the basement right now? When would there be a reason to go to the basement? You wait for the others to return. Bruh. What a fucking waste. What a waste. I'm gonna go back. Actually, can I go back? I wanna go, I wanna go back. What the fuck was that? I'll save a game first. But I'm gonna load a game. Is it gonna do a DDLC thing where it deletes my saves after a certain point? It just made me waste a day. Is there gonna are they, are they gonna pull a DDLC is what I'm worried about. Hmm. Alright, let's go back. Alright. Skip. Skip. Fast wait. Can I not go faster? Alright. Faster! Faster! Alright. I think I'm gonna say I'm gonna overwrite this save. So it's a lot closer. There we go. Alright. Alright, you know what we're gonna save right here. Missed one year, oops. Missed one year? Thank you for the sub, IP3 on four, four, 13 months. Alright, uh, I'm gonna overwrite it right here. Alright, uh let's all get a jump pets this time. All right, let's go see how I want to see. Hi! What are you doing outside? You almost crapped yourself. The other trumpets are somewhere in the bit. Are you fucking serious? So it's just us today. How about some fun cabbage facts? <laughs> you shake your head. I don't want some cabbage. How about another joke, Murray? Yeah. G I just said I'm good. I just said Daijobu. I am good. Cabbage is 24 calories and 100 grams, and it's great for all sources vitamin K and C. Purple cabbage has even more vitamin C than green cabbage. Maybe you should ask Anatoly why that is when he gets back. Globally, Russia eats the most cabbage. Really? I did, not, I did not know that. Pretty cool, right? No. I should have been a scholar instead of a world-class comedian. Really now? Really now? Also, can I can I play this with, with controller? Can I? Oh, I can! Since you've been so patient today, I'll give you the trumpet secret recipe for Lebanese-style tabbouli. <laughs> Not your normal meal, but I think you enjoy it. You're not sure. To check out the mess- the, the, the recipe? 
the recipe. Go into the main menu on the gallery. Be sure to save beforehand. Fine. I feel like them constantly saying I should save is bait. That's bait. All right, what are the keybinds for? Let me just make sure. Uh, what are the controls for? Okay, so that's why to save. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Well, my work gear is done. Chapat! <laughs> Mosey out! Can you put me in the drawer? <laughs> I want to surprise the others later. What if I say no? You're extremely relieved that the camera just stopped talking. You shut the drawer as per her request. You look over the supplies and start planning your next meal. All right, we're back. Question, can I mute an individual user? Yes, you can using the timeout channel point redeem. Just do that and then choose a username and then they get timed out. Well, a mod will do it. All right, we're back. <laughs> Knock it off, Mariah. It's pretty rare. Right. It's pretty rare to be scared of one. Hey, it's not. <laughs> Who knew the big guy would be so scared of? S Shut up. You don't understand. I don't think anyone understands, Gregor. It was just a marmite, Greg. Marmite? I mean, marmite is uh, very, very... Um, marmite, as in getting scared of marmite is pretty, like, you know... I, I don't blame him. I don't, I don't blame him for getting scared by marmite. I got scanned for that. Mariah laughs so hard that your ears ring. How can you laugh that hard? Ha 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 ha! Sorry, I tried. To, like, ba ha ha, aha ha ha ha, aha ha ha. Tears are rolling down Mariah's cheeks. She's laughing so hard. She's about to hyperventilate. Stop Mariah from hyper. There's a choice, sir. There's a choice. Do we stop? Absolutely not. <laughs> One less mouth to feed, right? Jesus Christ. You don't get it. It's pretty personal. Then please explain, big guy. I, uh... Gregor looks incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> Let's leave him alone. We found some raspberries and elderberries near the cabin. Quite the selection of berries. We also found more wild sorrel. Is this going to be enough for a good meal? Everyone's looking at you for an answer. You decide to do an inventory of all available ingredients. It takes you a while, but you decide on your specialty. Cabbage rolls. You first bring a large... Oh, wait, are we doing the thing? You first bring a large pot of water to a boil. You let the cabbage leaves boil for two minutes, draining the pot into the sink. In a medium mixing bowl, you combine some cooked rice, onion, an egg, salt and pepper, along with some tomato sauce. You use your hands to mix thoroughly and decide to wash your hands after it won't come off. Dividing the rice mixture evenly between the cabbage leaves, you then roll them up and tie a string around them so they stay in one piece. You place the cabbage rolls in a large skillet over medium heat, pouring the rest of the tomato mixture over the top. Covering it, you bring it to a boil. Then what? You reduce the heat to low and let the cabbage roll simmer for about 40 minutes, being sure to burst it with the liquid. Okay, and then... Oh! Scran! We got Scran! 
You got garbage rolls! Is this TOS? Technically, this is food porn. Shit. Fuck. Mariah looks optimistic. Karen looks skeptical. Anatoly looks curious. Gregor looks thrilled. And I look good today. And you watch intently as everyone takes the first bite. Stop staring at me! Mm, that's pretty darn good. Well, I could eat the whole batch myself. Did we kill the cabbage? I think the vegetable seed tastes is better, but I'm loving how tender the cabbage is. The sauce is pretty red. Did you use fresh tomatoes for it? It really adds to it. Spoon some of the liquid on top of it. I think it's spoon. Whoa, that would that would have been that would have been awkward. Spoon some of the liquid on top of it. You'll thank me later. Incredible! It's definitely growing on me. Thanks again for cooking. This really was something special. Everyone leaves the dishes behind for you to do. What? What? No. Where? Oh god, I'm tired. Uh oh. Not happening. You settle in and go to bed. Uh oh. We're going to bed. Everyone goes to bed full. Tomorrow will be another great day. Day, day ye to day Z. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. So when do they start dying? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. When's the when's the scaries? Again, Gregor. Can you just let us sleep in? Not today. Why? <laughs> Storm clouds are gathering outside. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. Gregor, you're overreacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Enough food? I thought we used most of the supplies for last night's dinner. He's right. The meal you made was delicious, but he used a lot of what we had. Greg's results are correct. Precipitation is unusually high in this area, with many areas being high risk for flooding. It will be foolish to not go out and look for food today. You, you really think it will it will flood? <laughs> Thankfully, the cabin is on high ground, but that doesn't mean we're safe from flood waters. It's always a possibility, so it can hurt to be prepared. Uh, you're losing it, Gregor. You're you're going mad. You're going mental. You're crazy. Karen, there's nothing to worry about. Hmm. Hmm. I think Gregor's right, Karen. Huh? It won't hurt to prepare for the worst. Hmm. Uh, I think she's right, Karen. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And Charlie, let's go out and prepare for the storm. Forage should be a key priority today. There are plenty of edible foods, and there's better odds than trying to hunt. Give me a few minutes and I'll plot out our ruin on some paper. Let me help, boy. <laughs> Anatoly and Greg head to the bedroom to consult the map. Mariah and Karen are still hanging around. Sayori? 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 <laughs> Tutorial. Unfortunately, in life, you can't make everyone happy. I'm going to quickly save. All right, I, I am going to save. There we go. 
Unfortunately in life, you can't make everyone happy. When given a choice to speak to a character, choose wisely. You can only select one of them. Try to max out your bond with certain characters for unique dialogue and scenarios. Yes, I know. Which one would you like to talk to? Mariah or Mariah or Carrie? We talked to we talked to Karen already. Which one? I'm thinking Mariah because we talked to Karen. The rat in the corner of the room? A rat? Where? Where? I don't see it. Alright, let's talk to let's talk to let's talk to Mariah because Karen a bitch. Mariah is paging through some of the books on the bookshelf. You walk over to her. There's some great books. This bitch Natsuki. Which one's your favorite? Shit. Um. I like the scary one. Maybe something scary is gonna happen if I pick the scary one. Hmm. I already read the entire thing. It wasn't scary at all. Very surface level horror. A cheap imitation of real horror. Damn, owned. Ending with a woman screaming? Does that even count as an ending? Listen, listen. When I was younger, the best thing to do when you wrote your when you wrote your shitty creepy pastas for like um for for school assignments is always end it by saying you woke up. I just be out there like and then I woke up. And then I woke up and it was all a dream. And I'm like, yeah, yes. You tell her it's a prequel to another book. You're kidding, right? I've lost all faith in authors. You know, Frankenstein, right? I don't mean the 1931 film. I mean the book by Mary Shelley. It started with the boat around the North Pole. Yes, it did. It definitely had more to say than the film. Or this book, man. Mariah is judging your choice harshly. You're pretty sure she'll remember that. Man, this is gonna this is gonna be some game to 100 percent isn't it? Gregor and Anatoly come back from their meeting. Gregor is blushing slightly. Why? Why is Gregor blushing? Why is Gregor blushing slightly? <clears throat> Find that one out after the break. Are you sitting comfortably? Enjoying the stream maybe? Do you want more content while being able to support the streamer in question? Well, why don't I introduce you to Twitch Prime? Or subscribing, wh whichever works. By subscribing to this channel, you directly support me and the content I'm trying to make. Whether it be pretending to be scared by random horror game 483, I'm already losing my mind to just another rage game that I've found from the dark depths of Steam. Subscribing allows me to put more budget and effort into the things you love to see week in and week out. If you subscribe, you get a fancy little icon next to your name that you can flex to others about how cool you are. The longer you're subscribed, the cooler your icon gets. And that's not all. Twitch subscribers get access to a super secret chat in my Discord server where you can chat with fellow rich kids. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Are, are you serious? This wasn't part of the script. <sighs> Fellow patrons and suggest games for me to play and things for me to watch. You can also chat to me after streams for exclusive looks at new videos. But wait, there's more. Each week I also have movie nights where we watch the latest and greatest films as well as some classics. So what are you waiting for? Go and subscribe or use your Twitch Prime to get a free subscription. And now back to whatever it is we were doing. Are you guys behaving? Do I need to send people to the naughty corner? Do people need to be moved to cyberspace so that they can think about their actions? No? Stop it. Stop that. Alright, so why is Gre so why is Gregory blushing slightly? Hey. Can you cook something while we're out? You nod. Thank you. All right, everyone. We have our route now. Let's beat those rain clouds. 
the group leaves determined as ever. You have the cabin all to yourself. He's like, I'll, I'll steal it. No one will ever know. Also, um, join obligatory Discord plug. Join my Discord server because on my Discord server, I'm going to be using that more than I'm using Twitter. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, we have the cabin all to ourselves. Uh, Baldy? B -b 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 Baldy? Question mark? Oh no! Paranormal activity! What's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Baldy again? Huh? Radio? What's going on with that radio? You didn't even notice it on the ground when you walked in. Did somebody leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. Baldy followed me outside school! Seems to be broken. Better hold on to this. You got the strange radio! Before you cook dinner, what should I check out? Oh shit, what should I check out? It's a good question. Uh, yes. Basement? Or oh, inspect the kitchen? Where haven't we been? We haven't been to the bedrooms yet, have we? I'm gonna go to the be- I'm gonna go to the bedroom. The Minecraft- Yo! Minecraft bed! Also sp spilled ink! What's going on there? Poor Anatoly. Karen snoring is so loud she even wakes you up sometimes. Anatoly must be running on fumes. Would he have the courage to wake her up, though? Probably not. You wait around for the others to return. Is that it? Is that it? Is that the extent to our investigation? We just go into the room, and then what do we do for all the hours at the outside? We just go to the room and just stare, just like... Uh, at the back I saw something I saw something Hold up I'm going back I Did you guys see that Did you guys see that What the fuck was that I saw something on the floorboards it was it was covered. I'm gonna do that again. Wait, I need to check. I need I need I need I need to investigate. I will investigate again. I saw that. Like I I I know what I saw. Wait, why can't I click it? I'm gonna check again. What the fuck is that? What happens if I click this? Oh shit. Did you not see that? But that was a bone. The floorboard's up. Hmm. All right, anyway, we'll go back. We'll go back. Yeah, I saw something. That was a bone. What the fuck was that on the floorboards? Mariah is back early today. Oh. Hey. The others are still looking for food outside. Anatoly found some more berries. But nothing that will feed all of us. Please don't tell the others. But I'm a little worried about our supplies. Aww. I'm worried we're gonna run out. I crunched the numbers. And we don't have enough food, even even with rationing, to, to last if there's a big storm and we could get stuck here. Mariah seems disappointed in your inventory management. Can you can you try cooking with a with a little less this evening? Really? Really? 
you nod. Why can't we question it? I feel like they're gonna they're gonna start eating each other, aren't they? They're gonna start eating each other. Thank you. Oh, I don't like that look on your face. I do not like that look on your face right now. Thank you. You've done such a great job with meal so far. You're very sweet. Oh, that if, if that isn't, if that isn't, come on, come on. There are two things you can take from that. What do you mean you're very sweet? We're going to get... Oh, that's a red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Is Mariah b blushing a little bit? <laughs> Mariah will remember that. Uh-oh. Wait, remember what? Your relationship is stronger. Are we gonna... Um... Uh-oh. I mean... I mean... I mean... Yes! Get in there! Get in! Maybe you can teach me to cook sometime? You nod. Looking forward to it. Hey, you can hold cooking classes here someday. Rudely interrupting a tender moment, the others burst into the cabin. Oh gosh, she got shorter. Don't be so down, everyone. We got tons of good berries. <laughs> Jam is so bland without any sugar. Do you have any sugar? You shake your head sadly. Ratio sadly. Yikes. Who are you yikesing? Turn that brown upside down, Karen. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Hey, uh, you missed out. The sunset was really tremendous on our way back. Hues of orange, red, even a little purple poking out. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Red sky in morning, sailors take warning. Ooh, bars. So we can expect a sailor's delight tomorrow? That's awesome. It's just an optimist, big guy. We must have walked a few miles today. Gorgeous sights. You can even see snow on the tips of the mountains. The fuck was that noise? That rumble sounded like a dying cough. You look from person to person trying to determine who it was. Who was it? Who was it? Stop it! It was definitely Mar Mariah? Mariah! I'd recognize this. Mariah! Mariah! Oh, disgusting! G G guilty! Mariah looks embarrassed, but the group laughs at her honesty. Except for you. You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. <clears throat> Those who have it do not want it. Those who have it least succeed. Those who have it for too long perish. When you feed it, it gets smaller. What am I? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, dust? Try again, big guy. Everyone's pondering the answer. Mariah's face lights up. I got it! Is it hunger? Whoa! Correct! Oh my god! Yeah, I was gonna guess that. Sure, sure you were. Sure you were gonna guess it. You were gonna guess it. Is that correct? It's Plankton. Wait, what the hell? Oh god, I need to. I need to stretch. Oh my god. 
I need, to, I, need to, I need to stretch. I don't know why I'm dropping so many frames. Honestly and truthfully. Anyway. So, uh, what's on the menu tonight, chef? Bread and jam. <laughs> you crush the berries in your small mortar and pestle, spreading it on crusty bread. That was easy. You cooked raspberry jam and bread. The bread's a little tough. Gregor, don't like a gift horse in the mouth. But this homemade jam is to die for. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're right, Gregor. This bread stinks. Briar. Everybody laughs. You're not sure this could be called a meal, but it got the job done. Everyone thanks you for dinner and heads off to sleep. You go to bed wishing you had more. Wait, I'm getting I'm getting a ring. I'm getting a call. I'm getting a call. I need to make sure that it's fine. I'm gonna have to do another ad time. I'll be back in a second. Hey everyone, welcome to my aircraft hangar that I definitely got for free. Um, it was given to me by a relative, I think. Anyway, you're probably still not convinced to subscribe to the channel. No, I am not. Please show me the benefits. <laughs> well, worry no more. Here are some of the benefits. And we are back. We are back. And I'm still looking over a couple of things before I continue. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? I got I got called about something. I was like, ah. All right. Anyway, no, nothing. Nothing happened just yet. I had to do a quick ad time. So I'm just going to make sure. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. All right, cool. We're back. Where's the music? What the fuck? I turned the sound off. Why is it making this noise? Huh? Huh? What was that? Oh, is it DDLC time? It's DDLC time. What was that? You have a strange dream. Something is riding on your back. What do you mean something was riding on my back? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean by that? And it's becoming a nuisance. What do you mean? You tried to see it to the mirror. But you can't get a good look at it. It's baldy. You try almost everything. But it won't get off. The pain between your shoulder blades is getting worse by the minute. You wander away from the cabin, stumbling by a river to soak your pain in cool water. You didn't want things to come to this, but you've exhausted all other options. 
You swim out to the middle. Why are we swimming? Rocks on the bottom cut your feet. You slip and fall to your knee. What? You lean back trying to submerge the thing under the waters, but it won't drown. It won't drown. It won't drown. It won't drown. You splash frantically, plunging your head beneath the water. The current takes you downstream. You try swimming to the shore, but it's no use. Water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the current. As you gaze up at the sky, you feel it leaving your back. Are we Ben drowned? B -b 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 ben drowned? Drifting into the sky, you sink to the bottom. As you take your last gasp, you see what was on your back staring into your eyes. But you don't even have the air in your lungs to scream. You wake up in a cold sweat. I saw that! Was that cool? Oh my god! It's Coom Lady! Oh my god! Also, we just got an achievement saying just a dream. What in the Mary what in the Mary Coom Lady as the fuck was that? Alright. <clears throat> wake wake up! Sorry, you were making strange noises in your sleep. What's going on, Gregor? Did, did the lightning... Did the lightning wake you up? It woke me up. I could fall back to sleep, but it's so loud. Ugh. Let's just get back to sleep and talk about this in the morning. Everyone nods in agreement and gets back to bed. Except me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I knew it! Except for me! <laughs> Dev here. Huge fan of your channel, so wanted to thank you for playing. Game will be on sale if you want to support currently working on sequel. Oh, hi! Hi, dear Dream Studios! Yeah, thanks for giving me a key. I didn't even notice. I literally checked my DMs, and... I was like, oh, I got a code. So yeah, thanks for the code. All right, you cannot fall back asleep. You still have goosebumps from the nightmare. Uh-oh. Wait, when was the last time I saved? Uh-oh. Karen snoring is louder than a sawmill. <laughs> oh, imagine. Just, oh. It only took the Twitter Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah, no, I had, I had, I had this in my plans to play for a while. It's just that um, I had other things I had to do, including the main channel video. Oh, oh! <laughs> you find it very loud and very distracting. Are we gonna? Are we gonna kill her? We're going to kill Karen. You don't sleep a wink. Everyone's now up and awake in the cabin. You hear the front door open and quickly slam shut. <gasps> Anatoly sounds petrified. What happened? Uh, I, I look out the door and uh, we're completely surrounded by floodwaters. Looks like sailors take warning was more appropriate for today. Maybe it will clear up tomorrow. Uh, feel free to DM me anytime if you want Easter eggs or lore stuff. Real? I might take you up on that offer then. Oh, you can't just you can't steal big guy's optimism, Karen. Send me any clips you guys take to. I'll post to Twitter. Yeah, you hear you hear that? You guys better be clipping and shipping. Why the hell not? That's all he has going for him. Ooh. Ech. He's also good at chopping wood, though. Gotta go, but thank you again, everyone. Have a great day, everyone. See you, dear dream. <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off, you two. Mariah, don't you think it'll clear up tomorrow? I give it a 27% chance of it clearing up tomorrow. Based on what? Well, based? Based on what? 
I was bored stiff, so I read a book on local precipitation levels for the last 20 years in the living room. Sounds like you're stealing Anatoly's thunder. Anatoly, you're a book nerd, right? Why didn't you read it? Ah, Gonna make it past the cover. Is that right? Yeah. That bookshelf has some great books on artisan crafting and natural sciences. Why let them sit there gathering dust? How did you arrive at a 27% chance of it clearing up tomorrow? It's easy. Take the time of year, multiply it by a factor of, uh, uh, uh. Mariah begins to explain meteorology to you. Uh, uh, so meteors and shit. Uh. She isn't dumbing any of this down. It's similar to, uh. It's similar to what that says, where. So the first thing you need to understand, minutes of explanation feel like hours. You look over at Anatoly. He's listening intently to Maria. So intently, he hasn't blinked yet. Wait, what? You can see his eyes drying up. Um! A tear rolls down one of his cheeks. Um! This is brutal to watch. Mariah finally wraps up her lecture. She ends with a bow. <laughs> Nobody claps. Bruh. Bro. Bro, imagine chatting so much and no one acknowledging it. That's... <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Tough crowd. M Mariah, that was... That was your inspiring. You lost me a few minutes in, but it's okay. I didn't understand the word of it. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Anatoly turns to you. Anyway, there's no telling how long this will last. We can't leave the cabin until these floodwaters stop. I know our food situation's a little tight, but I know you'll make the right decisions. Why? Why? Is Mariah staring at me like that? Riddle me that. Riddle me that, Batman. Why is... Why is... Why is Mariah staring at me like that? I believe in you! Huh. Me too. <gasps> it looks like we have enough leftover berries for more bread and raspberry jam. No passion to jam. Just give me more crusty bread. Everyone laughs. Except for you. With everyone stranded in the cabin, you need to keep everyone fed and happy. You sneak out of the kitchen while everyone's still talking. Wait, what about the strange radio? <clears throat> All right, I guess we're doing this sensual thing now. You get out some crusty bread and get to work making some more jam. With the kitchen to yourself, you decide to check in on the chompettes. Uh-oh. Hi! Don't worry, as leader of the chompettes, I'll make sure none of the humans know about us. Uh, but that big, big guy was trying to me like an apple. So definitely don't tell him like, about us. Ha ha ha. Are your plans going all right? <laughs> oh, so, oh, it's that deep. Ah, 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 ah. Got another cornbread classic for you. Did you hear about the bread maker's bakery burning down? No. Her business is now toast. That's a good one. Ha. Huh. That one's been done to death. Do you know how raspberry and milk were introduced? You tell her no. Raspberry. Okay. 
Raspberry milkshake. You let out an audible groan. All right. <clears throat> oh! Raspberry annoys me. It wasn't that funny, Brad. Shut, shut the fuck up. Did Cornbread teach you that one? Nope. Wasted an entire day thinking about that terrible pun. Ha ha ha. It was well worth the time and effort, Raspberry. Maybe you'll win the annual trumpet comedy competition this year. Raspberry. Oh, of course. I mean, of course. Onion. No, well, I mean, what about why is Potato not saying shit? Potato hasn't said a goddamn thing, and that's concerning. I won't choke on stage this year. Isn't that every year, bread? <laughs> Good one. Good one. We still talk about that closing line, bread. You're going to do great this year. Hmm. Anyways. Anyways, don't even think of eating us if you're hungry. Chump us stick together through thick and thin. Raspberry. Rain or shine. Raspberry. Feast and famine. Potato, I swear to God. Repeat the fucking line or we're locking you up again. Life or death. God damn it. Cabbage is fucking. Cabbage is. Fucking <laughs> like that, that that's how that's the terrible behavior coming from the cabbage. Cabbage fucking right now. That's right. Chumpets! Move out! The Chumpets man to somehow manage to close the drawer on themselves. I don't know how they managed that, but they did. You bring the crusty bread and jam into the living room. Are we going to prepare it? Karen interrupts as you bring in the food. Took you long enough. Karen looks at the two slices of bread left in the mason jar of raspberry jam. There's mold on these last two slices of bread. Ew! Oh, everyone is. Karen is right. Uh, the hell is the matter with you? You grip the knife tightly in your hand. Oh boy. It's going to escalate, isn't it? You think this is enough for five of us? <sighs> Oh, 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 wait, we, 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 we can't throw this bread away. It's all we have left. Greg is right. Anatoly, would mold spores give us food poisoning? I'm, uh, I'm no scientist. Sorry. Oh, thank you for the self-certified epic. For 18 months. Hmm. Happy 18 months. Also, what are we scanning tonight, Mr. Thaficus Wafficus? Thaficus Wafficus, don't. Let's not. Let's not make that one catch on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. But, all right, we're, scr we're scanning some bread. Let's, let's pick off as much mold as we can. We can't leave with the floodwaters, so this will have to last us another day. Everyone grimly nods, ripping apart their piece like a pack of wolves. Gregor seems to unhinge his jaw and eat it in one bite. Oh! Oh! That's disgusting! He looks like a duck eating bread. Thanks again. Bread and jam isn't much of a meal, but it's more than we had when we left you Oh! 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 Where did that come from? 
Where did that come from? Oh, no. Oh, no. When did this, when was this game released? Hang on. When was this game, when, when was this game released? I need to see. Uh, Cooking Companions release date. 21st of September, 2021. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the gift of prophecy. <laughs> Apollo. Apollo, please. <laughs> like, I, 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 <laughs> Apollo. Not the dodgeball. When does the game take place? Oh, it takes, I'm pretty sure it takes place like in, in the past, but I'm just like the gift of prophecy. Apollo, stop, don't throw it. Don't, don't throw the dodgeball. All right, anyway. Plenty of rainwater outside, so at least we won't die of dehydration. But until this storm is over, nobody should leave the cabin. So cheer up if we just give it a chance. Anatoly, where are you getting that information from? Oh, what one of the bookshelves about the, the the climate the climate here? One of the books on the bookshelf about the climate here. Hmm, you're you're illiterate, so that definitely is a li bro. That's like close to say no. What? Wow, Karen. Wow, wow. <laughs> I've seen him reading. Boy's been studying. I'm serious. He pretends to read those books because he wants us to think that he's smart. But I can tell he's just staring at the page, faking it. What do you think? I actually kind of like that, that whispering thing was during the ad. So when I turned back the, the volume on, it was like weird. That would be cool. Maybe he'll do that like when I unpause after one time. Wait, what did I think? All right, shit. All right. We haven't seen Anatoly read. Oh, fuck. Um, what do we do? So we haven't, we haven't actually seen Anatoly, no, we haven't seen Anatoly read. But. That's how we defend him because I don't like Karen. Exactly. We haven't seen, An we haven't seen Anatoly read, but then I'd have to agree with Karen. Which I don't want to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say yeah. You must be going blind then. G Thanks. I I don't know why Karen would make something up like that about me. You aren't fooling anyone, Anatoly! Karen has stormed off. Hey, thanks for backing me up. Yeah! Your relationship is stronger! Stronger! Right. Good to have someone so positive around. There's no music. And Natalie looks relieved. You think he'll remember that? I guess let's call it a day. Yeah. Sure. Uh-oh. Everyone shuffles off to their sleeping areas. Ten minutes later. Hey, Karen likes to find somebody's weakness and use it against them when she's frustrated. Just wanted to thank you for backing me up earlier. You're, you're very sweet to do that. Anatoly looks at you with a look of admiration. Me? I you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Nah, man. <laughs> See you tomorrow. And also, the squirrel did just move. Also, um, I don't like how, I don't like something, something's up, something, something's up. Suddenly having uh, a Natalie say that and stay behind, something's up. And Natalie looks like he's blushing as he walks away. Hey, no. Before, no, no, 
Just because I also have a, a, a creature on my shoulder doesn't mean... I feel like I know where this is going. You're definitely sure I didn't tell you to remember that. Something. Something is not right. That's what I'm going to say. Something ain't right. Wait, hang on. Is the stream buffering for you guys? You get ready to bed and put a blanket on. You go to bed very hungry. Have I saved? Just in case. What if you save during a sleeping section? Maybe there's a scare. Okay, never mind. All right, Daya. It's Daya. It's day four. You don't dream the entire night. But you sleep through everyone waking up. And that's how a faster deer could run if startled. And that's when I said, that's no walker, that's my wife. Whoa. Incredible. Impressive. <sighs> Shit, it's making me yawn. <sighs> God. I wish we had a deer here, where the food get a little, let's just skip today's meal. <laughs> no! It, it's only for one day. V various cultures and religions are practiced fasting for our history. True, mashallah, brother. That doesn't make us feel any better, Anatoly. What options do we have? Our food wasn't rationed properly. Anatoly leaves, mumbling to himself. Some passive aggressive of him. Everyone goes to a separate area. Karen in the bedroom. Gregor in the living room. Maria in the kitchen. And Anatoly in the... I thought I was going to say the basement for a second. Alright, um... Again. Who do you want to speak to? Should we talk to Mariah again? Or oh, Anatoly? We gotta up, we gotta up the relation ship. Talk to Anatoly, he's based. Mariah. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Cause, and, and, and that's, listen, Anatoly went off. And I'm thinking. I'll do Maria. I'll just I'll come back to it later. I'll, I'll I'll come back to the others later. Oh, then here you coming, haha. -ha. Uh. I was just double checking if there was any food we might have missed, but I couldn't get the draw. Oh, open. Could you give it the try? Um, I don't think we should do that. I don't think we should do that. What are the trumpet's gonna do? G great. We couldn't even have a choice to say no. While you go do that, I'm going to get some more reading done. You think Murray will remember that? Oh, damn. Our relationship is stronger. Uh, I think the fuck not, you trick ass bitch. Later. You give the drawer a hard yank open. Hello. Hello. Is the thunderstorm keeping you up at night? You just need to roll with it. Raspberry's whispers so quietly you lean over to listen to it. All right. Wait, what, what are you saying, Raspberry? We need to talk soon. Oh! Oh! That 
that's not good. That's the opposite of good. In fact, I'd wager to say that's a bit bad. Please listen to me when the time comes. Anyways! Please don't let the others see us! Uh oh. Th that's right, Raspberry! Part of being a chumpette is secrecy! <laughs> Wouldn't want those humans to overhear our meetings now, would we? You shake your head. Good. Chumpettes! Uh -huh. Rolling out! You shut the drawer. I thought I saw something for a second. Everyone looks pretty down this evening. I wish the rain would just stop. You're all doing great. We must almost we must be almost at the end of this nightmare. And Natalie, little did you know. Let little did you know. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Stop. How many trumpets were there? Five. There's five of us here. The cogs are turning. Wait. Wait. What was the other one again? It was potato, cabbage, raspberry, bread. What was the last one again? I can't even remember. Onion. Onion. And the colors were. Hmm. Hmm. My boy. <laughs> I think I, I'm, 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 I'm starting. See, I, I'm starting to. I'm, I'm making guesses already. And there's a cornbread that we haven't seen yet. Exactly. So. There's something. And there's more in the basement. And the basement is. The the basement can't be opened yet. Why is Greg so upset though? I'm so hungry. Me too. You are too. You wish everyone a good night and get ready for bed. Oh, we're on. We 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 starving, starving. Oh, we start. Oh, we starving. Oh God, we rumbling. You go to bed with a growling stomach. My stomach is growling. The stomach starts roaring in a bit. It's like ah, what the what the hell's going on? Why is my stomach doing that? All right, um. I'm going to initiate another ad time because I need to also, I'm going to change my batteries because the controller that I'm using is about to run out. This game was so intense that the controller is about to run out of battery. So I will see you guys after this very quick ad time. Are you sitting comfortably? Enjoying the stream maybe? Do you want more content while being able to support the streamer in question? Well, why don't I introduce you to Twitch Prime or subscribing? Whichever works by subscribing to this channel you directly support me and the content. I'm trying to make Whether it be pretending to be scared by random horror game 483 I'm really losing my mind. It's just another rage game that I've found from the dark depths of steam Subscribing allows me to put more budget and effort into the things you love to see week in and week out If you subscribe you get a fancy little icon next to your name that you can flex to others about how cool you are The longer you're subscribed the cooler your icon gets and that's not all twitch subscribers get access to a super secret chat in my discord server Where you can chat with fellow rich kids. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Are, are you serious? This wasn't part of the script 
fellow patrons and suggest games for me to play and things for me to watch. You can also chat to me after streams for exclusive looks at new videos. But wait! There's more. Each week, I also have movie nights where we watch the latest and greatest films as well as some classics. So what are you waiting for? Go and subscribe or use your Twitch Prime to get a free subscription. And now back to whatever it is we were doing. And we're back. All right. So I'm just doing a couple of, I'm doing a couple of things at once as well. For some reason, I've been pinged so many times i don't know whether it was an emergency or not so i went in i went and made sure all right anyway um i was yeah i got confused as well anyway i don't know what i don't know what the situation with the internet is but i'm gonna try and fix it in time all right anyway oh, okay uh back to game you go to bed with a growling stomach. Uh-oh. Oh, God. All those dots. Achievement. Listen to her. Wake up. Uh-oh. I said... Wake up! Oh, I got something in my eye. What the fuck are you doing? The rainfall is non-stop again. Did you have anything to do with this? Why is that, why is that heartbeat? <laughs> Always thinking with your stomach, right? You should reconsider. Might save what little humanity you have left. At least I tried. I won't have a guilty conscience by the end of this. Go back to sleep, monster. What do you mean? Where did this come from? You easily forget about Raspberry's conversation. What? You have a strange dream. Bro! A boy's yelling at you in the kitchen. You keep telling him to lie down on the trick. I knew it. I knew it. But he keeps shaking his head, calling in the I knew it. I fucking knew it. I, I, I bloody knew it. It's bug snacks all over again. I knew it. He keeps shaking his head, calling you names. So you do it. You lie down on the tray and make your body as flat as a board. You show him how it's done. Let me show you how to scratch it. His anger turns into courage and he pushes you into the oven. As the stench of burning hair fills your lungs, you can see him sneering back at you. You wake in a cold sweat. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. It was well timed. I was meant to go like, ah! What was that anyway? All right, days. Everyone seems to be sleeping in later than normal. Let's go to the, let's go to the basement. Also, I didn't see it. What the fuck? Their stomachs must have kept them awake all night. The rain is still pouring outside. You can barely make out the trees from the windows. You hear a stirring of blankets, arms and legs. Mariah looks petrified. <gasps> I couldn't sleep. Anatoly has bags under his eyes. The storm is too loud. Karen looks out of it. Oh my God. The cabin was creaking so much last night. It sounded alive. It's just literally cabin in the woods. It's literally just cabin in the woods. Gregor looks a little gaunt. I got a good look out the window. And 
Couldn't see anything due to the rain. Great observation, Gregor. I was so hungry last night. I kept pacing around my bed. The bed's not that big. Karen turns to you. When is this going to end? I checked outside the door again. Floodwaters keep rising. God, why is it... Sorry, I'm just checking on the internet as well. Give me a second. God damn it. All right. Unfortunately, we're going to need to stay put unless one of us wants to drown in rainwater. As soon as the weather lets up, we'll be able to scavenge for supplies. How close is the nearest town? Uh, uh I don't know. Didn't you have a map on you? Uh oh. Oh, he lying. Oh, he lying. Uh oh. I think I, I think I dropped it while we were running after Gregor. You dropped it? I'm sure it'll show up eventually. Aha. Mariah and Anna's only go white as a sheet. How are we going to find our way back now? We'll, uh, we'll have to ride out the storm. Mariah looks at you. We're down to our last slice of bread. I don't know how much longer we can put off eating. The group stares at you. It will clear up in no time. M maybe you're right. The group looks worried. They all gravitate to an area. All right. I'm going to save again. Man, I don't even know which save is which. You can tell Gregor's putting on the, on the fake optimism and Mariah's having trouble. Which one do you want to speak with today? Gregor or Mariah? Which one? Uh, the thing, we haven't talked to Gregor yet, but um, we also have a good relation with um, Mariah. Let's talk to Gregor. I think which... If I, yeah, mods. Mods! Give a poll. I need a poll. We're gonna wait for the mod. I'm gonna wait for the mods to do a poll. Or maybe I should do one. I'll probably just I'll probably choose myself. Alright, uh Alright. I'm just gonna. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he screams, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Sorry, guys. Did I save? I think I saved. We'll get back to the. Uh, we'll get back to the rest of the in a bit. But I think I saved beforehand. Mods got eaten. Well, it's too late. <sighs> It's cold as hell over here! I'm surprised Gregor isn't freezing to death at night. How does he do it? He explained to Mariel the size of a person and fat content determine how warm they are naturally. Yeah. Wish I was as big as Greg. <laughs> Drink milk, idiot! But to be honest, I don't need to be that tall to make a difference in the world. Do you know what he wanted to do for Korea? Mariah does her best Gregor impression. Split firewood, engage it, the stars! How, how boring is that? Depends on the person, but that's, um, that's, pre that's pretty boring. I, 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 th I think personally, that shit, that shit boring. Mariah's chat confirmed. Wait, so everyone is, everyone is small? Everyone in chat is small. In fact, you know what? We're going to have a height check. I want another height check in chat. I want to know. Four nine five eleven. Oh my God! The real OGJ. Thanks for the five thousand bits, huh? 
Hey, bro, what's up? What's this game, by the way? It looks interesting. It says Cooking Companions. It, it is uh, it is Cooking Companions. 12.5 12 feet. That's a, that's a line. 98 foot 5. Listen, that's my size. Let's be unjust. Like, you ain't, you ain't the virus kaiju. There's only one, and it's on stream right now. Wait, I just realized. What if we start scran... What, what if... And I mean, what if? What if we start scranning um, the mice? You know what I mean? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. Do they know that the mice are there? That's the real question. Um. Wait, we yeah we had we had a mouse. Yeah, so I'm just I'm stopping for a bit because I'm like, this game. What do we think? It's been two hours. What do we think of the game so far? What what do what do we think, or what what do I think of the game so far? Because I feel like the uh, the writing right now it's heavy handed. I'm ninety nine percent sure. Um, I've already figured out who the villain is. I, I, I think I figured out who the villain is because I feel like it's gone from it's gone to the un, the unfriended school of obvious foreshadowing. Like all the others are behaving regularly, but um but uh but Karen. I am 99% sure the main the main antagonist is Karen. It's not really subtle, but I feel like it's fine. <laughs> or maybe it's us. It could also be us as well. Because of the fact that Raspberry was like... Because they're looking at us to do the cooking. We're the only one who does the cooking. And at the very beginning, they were saying, Oh, look at this mold. This mold is... um, This mold is perfect for Karen. And I'm like... Well... Because we're having, we're eating the stuff. What if we're... What if, what if, well, no, actually no. I'm thinking about it. What if we're the baddies? Are we, are we the baddies? Because we're being really, we're being really, really like dismissive over everything and we're also being submissive to everyone like they ask us to do something we do it maybe we are the baddies i think no because the thing is we're already trying that we're already getting into the point where everyone is getting mad what if this was part of the plan what if this was part of the plan if this is like cabin in the woods what if because how did they get here we were here or i think we were there already how did they get here? What if? What if it's like a William Afton moment where it's like the big sore twist at the end is that, oh no, I am, I am serious. I am the jigsaw. I am the origami killer. The origami. I went and invited all of you into this cabin, then snowed you in, then made sure it's flooded, and then picked you off. Because we also grabbed the knife. We while Karen was shouting at us, we gripped the knife. Did we all? I I'm starting to get. I'm starting to. I'm. I I I feel like. I feel like there's something more, because I wasn't too sure until the raspberry said something. That's what all. I, all I, I wasn't sure until raspberry said something, but now I think. Between us and Karen, we're really we're really sus with it. I should. My, I'm considering going back and simply talking to Karen. Honestly. All right. Um. Because the potato's not saying anything. That's what I'm trying to say. The the uh, what's it called? The potato isn't um 
They're not saying anything. All right. You're so funny. Thanks for coming in and chatting with me. Mariah blushes a little. You make it easier to pass the time. Thank you. You're pretty sure Mariah will remember that. Three. Two, there's like two more and then two more. Bang. Banging in two more. <laughs> <laughs> if I just I'm just how I'm banging in two more hearts. You thank her and leave the bedroom. It's good. It's literally like camping in the wall. Oh, God, man, look at all their faces. You call everyone together. They all look grim. What day is it? Is it five or is it six? You could cut the tension in the room with a knife. Everyone is staring at you. They're expecting that last piece of bread for dinner. You bring it out. Everyone cannot take their eyes off it. Fight! And then everyone starts fighting. You instruct everyone to take a pinch. And slowly all five of you tear it apart like a wishbone. You know what, you know what this reminds me of? You know that uh, editor, you know that scene? I can't remember. Um, it's in uh, it's in a Mickey Mouse cartoon when I think, what, was it Goofy who did it? Where he just cut like the slice of bread? <laughs> or was it Mickey? Where he cut the slice of bread <laughs> into like a paper. <laughs> oh, they're gonna, bro, they're staring at me like they're gonna. <laughs> well, all you have to do is get a shredder, put the, um, Put the, put the toast in the shredder and then give the pieces to everyone. Also, um, also, uh, yes, they've been wearing the same clothes for five days straight. That's a bit odd. That, that is, that is a bit odd. Um... Everyone studies their piece of bread carefully. Wondering how long it will last. Karen is the first to eat hers. She chews each bite a few hundred times before swallowing. Anatoly chews it cautiously, opening his mouth once he finishes each bite. Mariah nibbles on it silently, eyes wide, moving from person to person. And Gregor. Oh! Gregor just pops it in the mouth like a cherry. <laughs> God, the, the ellipsis. It was gone in an instant. Yeah, did they not bring luggage? Where's the luggage? The group thanks you awkwardly. It's not much, but you've run out of options. You wish everyone good night and get ready for bed. But that's the thing though. Um, don't we have the mice? You go to bed starving. Day six. Day six. Sorry. <laughs> Why did I? Good morning. Morning. Let me check if the rain has stopped. The rain has not stopped. <laughs> the razor. The rain has not stopped. It's still flooding! <gasps> ah! What are we going to do? Humans can live about two to three weeks without food. Oh, water is a concern. I mean, they should be there. I mean, this is a really good way to lose weight. A rainfall should end in a day or two, right? Actually. Precipitation can occur more than 215 days a year here. But do you really think it'll rain that long? Anatoly, it's been days already. What makes you think it will stop soon? Eh! 
R relax, everyone. Let's see how long we can ride this out. Fingers crossed it's done by tomorrow. Uh, panic is slowly creeping in. Everyone's looking scared. But you need to survive. We need to survive! Alright. Uh, let's go to... um. Here. Load game. Wait, no, not load game. Karen and Gregor begin to discuss next options. Do you want to speak with Mariah in the kitchen? Or Anatoly in the living room? <gasps> oh! Um! Think instead about everything you've done wrong and how you've doomed everyone. Or do we speak with Mariah and talk with Anatoly? Um! That's new! Big mood. Actually, a ac that's a massive mood. That's a massive mood. But do we want to ponder? Do we want to ponder or do you want the bunder? <laughs> Talk to Mariah. I th do we, if we get to Mariah, we'll be at four. We're already on track. Do we want do we want to ponder or the bunder? <laughs> Alright, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the poll. Every Everybody want, wants to go to her. What if we do max out someone's relationship level? Also, I did save. So, I did save. Do not worry. Alright, what, what's the poll saying? Doom. All right. Yeah, let's see what happens if you do it. Could you have rationed the supplies better? You crunch the numbers one more time. You could have reduced the amount of vegetables used in the stew, but it was their first day. You had to impress them. Was there anything you could have done differently? Probably not. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, Karen. You wonder if they're upset with you. Gregor calls the group over for a meeting. Oh, that was it. That was it. Should I listen? Should I, should I talk to Mariah now? Wait, let me quickly save. That sucked. All right, Mariah time. Hey. Mariah looks relieved to see you. Was that it? That was random? That was what? <laughs> oh. How are you holding up? Better question. How are you holding up? Yeah, that's a good one. Not very good. That's very sweet of you to ask. Mariah is looking at you intently. She gets a little closer to you. Uh-oh. I noticed you didn't use any meat when cooking. Oh, no. Usually I have to pick it out of the foods others make. But you respected that. Thank you. Mariah is looking at you with admiration. I need to speak with Gregor for a minute. Well, thanks again. You're definitely sure Mariah will remember that. I don't think they brought meat. Maximum! Let's go! We're in! We're in! We've infiltrated! Uh-oh. You decide to check out the drawer again. Uh-oh. Um. Where are the others? And why is the music like this? You ask Potato where the others are. They'll be back. They wanted to explore the labyrinth of tunnels around the cabin. Surely... You've seen the mouse holes, right? 
Uh oh. They connect all over the cabin. Must have been some mouse that created them or something worse. Anyways, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Things are going to get worse from here on out. You have a feeling Potato's telling the truth. The scary stuff's gonna happen now! You realize some drool is leaking out of your mouth. <sighs> Disgusting. Don't even try to eat me. You'd just get deathly sick if you tried. And from the look of you, you need to retain all the water you can. From rationing to cooking, you failed every common sense measure for basic survival this week. You knew something like this would happen, right? Ahem. Die, potato! Just step on the potato. Never mind. With flood waters rising and no food now, I think it'll be a great time to go over the fundamentals of starvation with you. When experiencing starvation, there are four factors that determine if you live or die. Age, height, weight, and your degree of activity or inactivity. You've been especially lazy, so I think you'll survive a little longer than the others. The Harris-Benedict equation can help you figure out how many calories you need to simply maintain your current weight. Preachy! Just throw the potato out the window. Just open it. Preachy! The equation produces a number called the basal metabolic rate or BMR. Bro, stop preaching. Stay with me here. BMR equ Okay. Okay. All right. Are you re is is the writing really using this to like survive in the wild? Is this what it's gone to? Anyway, chat, write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Got it. Wait, we might need this. Oh shit. No, I actually didn't think about it. We might need this. All right, save it. Wait, screenshot. Yeah, I'll take a screenshot. <laughs> All right, let me turn on game capture as well so that it um, doesn't show up from the screen. Where is game capture? All right. Got it. For fun, let's try it out on someone here. Using Harris Benedict, she looks like she's 120 pounds. About five feet, five inches tall. About 20 years old. Hmm. Crunching the numbers. I think she'd need about 1,388 calories daily. But that's being abnormally stationary. She'd have to lay in bed all day and all night. Just eating, breathing, and using her brain. Not very common when you're starving to death. People tend to... Get up more. If she was being active, let's say, swimming through floodwaters, we'd need to multiply that 1388 calories by 1.9. So now she needs 2638 calories per day. That's quite the difference, especially if you didn't ration the food properly, which you didn't. I guess that wraps up our first survival lesson. Hopefully we'll never have to speak again. Okay? You shut the drawer going over the numbers again. I don't think any of us can take this much longer. Gregor's voice starts to crack. I, I, I don't want to ask the- Oh no! He's crying! I don't want to ask this, but it's time. One of us needs to go outside and search for food. Everyone is silent. I'll go. Oh. 
Heading off now. I'll catch up with the bot tomorrow. Good night, Daffy. Good night, chat. Love you guys. See you, honey. Also, welcome. Welcome, Flowo. Oh, bro, Mariah's got the bitch is dead. Mariah's dead first. I'm telling you right now, Mariah, dead. Dead. It's ne she's never more dead than dead she has. Mariah. I used to swim all the time near my house. So I probably have the best chance of swimming through floodwaters. Oh! Ah. No! Let me go instead. You won't get very far if anything happens to your glass. If anything happens to your glass, Natalie. You're blind as a mole rat, remember? Oh, that's true, but... Boy. Let me go. G Gregory, I... Sounds good to me. G Karen! His arms are definitely the longest, so he'd probably be the best at climbing trees out of all of us. Uh, no, that wouldn't be right, Gregor. Let me go. Do we have to choose? I get that none of these options are good ones, but we need to find food or help. Gregor grabs a branch from the woodpile. He cuts it into different measurements. Oh, God. Oh, God. Since we can't come to a consensus, let's draw for it. We'll each pick one from my hand. And the shortest will go outside to search for food. You're not worried about drawing. You saw Gregor cut the branch lengths. So you can tell which is the biggest one of the bunch. Rigged! Rigged! I'm saving. Oh, I'm saving. Brother, brother, shit rigged. You pick it. You watch the others intently. Will it be Gregor? Anatoly? Karen? Will it be my... B it is, isn't it? Looks like I've got the shortest. <sighs> Mariah? Mariah? It's... It's okay. Oh no! Not the sad music! I watched Anatoly forage earlier, so I'll know what to look out for. Just swim until you find higher ground, then scout the area. M maybe you'll find a fish out there. Everyone looks heartbroken. Karen, Anatoly, Gregor, I I'll keep us alive. I promise. She promised. Everyone watches as Mariah leaves the cabin. The silence is deafening. Goodbye. The door shuts behind her. You can faintly hear her yell about how cold the water is. And then silence. Oh God, that is... Mariah has left the cabin. Ladies and gentlemen, Mariah has left the cabin. I'm sure we'll see her again. Karen, that's sus. That's sus, Karen. The rest of the group nods. Everyone stays up waiting and waiting. Thank you, Waffle Dad, for the 30 months. The sun has completely set. 13 months and I still don't have a girlfriend, absolute scene. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> one by one, each person quietly shuffles up to bed. You get ready for bed and easily pass out. Oh, achievement unlocked, dead to me. And there's a picture of Mariah. You have a strange dream. Another one? Oh, for God's sake, no, you're joking. Another one? The two women in front of you could be twins. One of them you recognize. 
The other is a guest. You ask the guest to sit on a shovel and then you try pushing it into the oven. <gasps> her legs are so strong, you can't even get her into the oven. Oh my God, it's Nina. It's Nina. It's like, ah! You curse at her repeatedly. Like this, you hiss. You stretch out your legs until your toes are almost sticking in the coals. Oh gosh, that would be painful. You feel four hands on your shoulders and both of them push you in. Yeah, Nina! Nina cannibalism! Nina! Hey, thank you, Nebula Lilac, for the 13 months. Morning, big man. Hope you're doing well. Are we pushing women into ovens? This is so epic. <laughs> Oh my god! Misogyny! Actually, no, it well, was the other way around. So, um... Destroying the patriarchy! Yeah, Nina, go on! Alright. The familiar smell of smoke and burning air calls you to throw up on the embers. You can't let it end like this. You rip the metal door off the oven, tearing through the wood, wood logs of the cabin! Screaming, you chase the two through the woods. Your burns chill with the wind. The guest looks behind her and her eyes widen when she sees you. She's terrified. Your fury rips trees out by their roots. Soil from the ground. Rocks from their boots. You've never been this angry in your entire life. Man. I told you League of Legends was a terrible idea. Their stamina can't last forever. You're gaining on them. As you trample through a field of wheat, the guest throws a piece of cloth behind her. You catch the glint of it in the sun. Golden. As if by magic, the earth splits in front of you, creating a chasm of fire below. You fall into the pit, screaming as your eyes begin to sizzle from the heat. Hellfire fills your lungs. You're unable to scream anymore. You wake up in a cold sweat. It's been a week! It's been a week! Seven days to die! It's been a week! Let's go! Oh God, oh no, I'm so just crying. A hype train is close? Interesting, we've been live for that long that we have a hype train? Where? Anyway, good morning. Do, do, you, th do you think she made it to higher ground? Uh, I believe it. I believe in Mariah. I believe in Mariah. Uh, me too. She'll be fine. Right, boy? So, so, so what do we do now? Just wait? Where's the squirrel? Where's the squirrel? K Karen. How long? It's been almost a day since she left. All right, I think uh, for now, right now, I'll save. Um... But I need to do, I have, since Twitch has forced me to do it, I have to do yet another ad time. So I will see you guys shortly. Hey everyone, welcome to my aircraft hangar that I definitely got for free. Um, it was given to me by a relative, I think. Anyway, you're probably still not convinced to subscribe to the channel. No, I am not. Please show me the benefits. <laughs> well, worry no more. Here are some of the benefits.
And we are back! Oh, the pause menu is saying, can you hear the cooking? Also, oh, that's what happens when you leave it for too long. Yeah, it, it's saying, can you hear the cooking? All right. How long? It's been almost a day since, since he left. Anatoly and Gregor look nervous. Hey, thank you for the sub channel, Terrors. And also thank you for the sub lot of mercy. I caught that just before we went to ad time. Hello, man. <laughs> thank you, Synonyms, for the 14 months at tier three. Someone needs to go and look for her. Mm. We need to wait, Karen. Wait for what? Hmm. The nearest town is miles and miles away. Waiting is all we can do for now. Oh, Karen's getting angry. So it could be days before she gets back. What are we supposed to eat? Mice? Oh, she, oh, she, she knows. All I'm saying is that she knows. She knows. Y yes, you eat mice. Karen, I'm sure Anatoly will agree, but we'll discuss next options when we get to it. Every waking thought is about food now. I never should have eaten that much. I... I'm, I'm, that we're going for Goomba! Karen's hands are involuntarily shaking. Gregor and Anzali are just not in agreement. They don't even need her to elaborate. You're sure Mariah will make it back, she promised. Everyone retreats to their areas. All right, I'm saving. What do you want to do today? Who should we talk to now? Now that we don't have, we don't have Mariah. So who do we talk to? Gregor or Anatoly or Karen? I'll do Anatoly. E hey, JB Steely, thanks for the sub with Prime. Hey, the kitchen definitely doesn't feel the same without Mariah. I'll, I'll laugh, a smile. I never got to tell her how I felt about her. Oh no! She'll be back, right? You nod. Y yeah, I wish we had rationed better. You decide to distract and actually from his misery with an old story. Once there was... <laughs> I was going to do the ugly barnacle one. There was once a villager who had to stock up supplies for the winter. He filled his house with a cow, a sack of grains from the field, and 92 buckets of water, mostly for the cow. He quickly ran out of room as the house wasn't very big. One day, the villager grew sick. He knew the he knew he needed the life giving milk from the cow to survive the winter. But when he attempted to milk the cow, his grip was too weak to grasp her udders. In desperation, he began to boil the grains using his buckets of water. The cow cried out for food, but the villager could only afford to feed himself each night the cries of the cows kept him where's this story going where is this going until one day he, he finally ran out of food 
the villager crawled into bed, crying as the snow deepened outside. The cow sad eyes stared at him. He wanted to comfort the cow, but he couldn't step over the buckets. He was too weak, too sick. The last thing he heard was the cow still crying out for food. One haunting noise to end his life. And it was so ugly that everybody died. The end. Anatoly looks horrified with your story. You leave him alone in the kitchen. We did not help anything, man. We we did not. Why did just what kind of what kind of shit ass distraction was that? What type of? All right, another save. Uh, let's go. Uh, I can't stop thinking about that vegetable stew. We didn't even get a heart from that. It's bullshit. Be fine with the bread and jam. I I be fine with just strawberries. <laughs> Nobody else laughs. I would kill with some vegetables right about now. Can you go into your inventory? Can we? No. No, we can't. Hey, Nakuro, Nakuro, Nuki. Today is Friday in California. Yes, true. You would too. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Good night. No. We had a rat in our adventure though. You fall asleep quickly. But you only dream about desecrating a corpse. You awake in a cold sweat. In a completely different room. Huh? Um. Where are we? What? Good morning. Karen's looking worse. Will you cook for the group today? I have to save again. There's only thing we can do. Cook. Editor. Meth. On screen. Now. <laughs> oh. No. You take a cutlet of meat and begin to cook it in the oven. You cooked meat in very small text. <gasps> Where did you get that? You ignore Karen's question. Oh, bro, she's getting, wow, she's getting angry quickly. What's that smell? <gasps> Gregor finally gets off the couch. Where did you... The three are looking at you, salivating. You take the charred meat out of the oven, cutting into small cutlets. They immediately grab some off the plate, chewing ferociously. You take a piece and immediately devour it. Oh, achievement unlocked, a downward spiral. Oh no, M. Plemons gonna make a video on this. D do you have any more of this? You explain how the meat is stored securely, hidden, so you can ration better this time. I understand. Thank you. Uh oh. Anatoly runs to the bathroom, puking in the toilet. You can hear him subbing for a few minutes. Uh oh. This taste is. Uh oh. Gregor wanders off. 
Anatole returned, looking choked up. I was too, I was too weak. Left you some of the meat. Don't fight this, Anatoly. Anatoly takes a cut. Oh, shit. Anatoly takes a cutler from the plate, turning his back to the group as he devours it. It's the squirrel, isn't it? You can hear him crying. Finally, my focus is coming back. Going to read some of those books. Keep them occupied, okay? Karen leaves you with the men. With the men! Who do you want to talk to? We were talking to Anatoly. I haven't been with. I want to. I'll do a Gregor out later. I'm just. I'm just gonna go straight for Anatoly. Honestly, you knock on the door first. Anatoly, we're gonna gently open the door, aren't we? We're gently opening the door. Oh no! You slowly open the door. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I just, no, not this, not this. Thanks for che thanks for checking in on me. You ask if he still feels sick. Not anymore. I think it was the mental thing. That is a nice bathroom, to be fair. Please don't tell me where the meat came from. The less known, the better. You nod. Thank you. You're sure Anatoly will remember that. Your relationship is stronger. You leave Anatoly and go tidy up parts of the kitchen. Uh oh. Oh, why is this? Why is it like this now? Instead of the dialogue. Hours. Also, what the fuck is in that? Was that open? Look. That. Oh, you don't see it. On the, the open cupboard. What the fuck is that? There's something there. There's something there. That looks like a face. Wait, we couldn't see that because the box was. Oh, wait, we couldn't see it before because the box was covering it. That's a face. Editor, enhance. Eating will just make them hungrier. They're fine now, but soon they'll be begging for more. We've waited long enough. What's for dinner? Wait, the face disappeared for a second, didn't it? The face faded out. There was a face there. We've waited long enough. What's for dinner? You'll calmly explain that you want to ration the meat better this time. And there will be no dinner. Fine. I understand. I guess I'd rather eat tomorrow than more today. No arguments? Perfect. We're so evil. It's not even like, we're not even sugarcoating yet. We are definitely a serial killer. There's no way we're not. Like, there's actually no way we ain't. Oh yeah, that face is gone. That face is gone. Everyone decides to call it an early night. You fall asleep instantly tonight. You have a strange dream. Another one? You're having dinner with a blacksmith. But he's not touching his food. The only light in the room comes from the oven. He clears his throat, stroking his beard. 
I can forge anything, he says. Your eye has been giving you issues lately, so you reply. Did we gouge our eyes out? These are memories. Forge me a new eye then. You laugh, but then the ropes come out. He ties you to your chair with a long rope to prevent you from struggling. You rip the rope apart without even trying, so the blacksmith uses a thicker rope. You rip that one too? No turning back now. He takes a hot poker from out the coals. Holding in front of his face, you can see his beard and eyes watching you. He slowly brings back the poker, aiming carefully for your eye. Oh! Before plunging it through your skull with a sickening crunch. Oh, God, that's painful. That's painful. The force of the blow throws you backwards a few feet. You're unable to break the ropes. You vomit all over your, all over your chest. As the smell of your decimated eye floods your nostrils. The blacksmith stands over you, spitting on your body. You wake up in a cold sweat. Oh no, it's day nine. Everyone knows on the ninth day, that's when things actually get creepy. Thaf nine, hack nine. The ninth day is when everything gets creepy. I know for sure. Why am I, why, why did I, why did I, why did I? You wake up to see Gregor looking out the window. He turns to you, not smiling. Take a look out the window. Do you notice anything? I'm just waiting, I'm waiting. Always on the ninth day. It's just, just like corpse party. Oh, that's so bait. That's so bait. The floodwaters have receded a bit, but everyone's still bound in the cabin. Fuck's sake. The trail used to be completely visible. It's gone now. Is this going to be our Sayori moment? Oh my God, my eyes hurting. Good morning, big guy. Her body's gonna show up, isn't it? Just pressed against the window like, ooh. Will Maria make it back? Uh, this might sound a little crazy, but every night around 2 a.m., I can hear her outside. Oh no. Oh no. She makes this awful gurgling noise like she's trying to get water out of her lungs. Oh, well, shit. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I mean, what, what were you expecting? Like, what were you, what were you actually expecting? Oh my God. I think my issue, my issue that I have is that will the story change um will the story change if uh what's it called if we chose someone else that's what i that, that's what i want to know because what i'm worried about so okay so what i'm worried about is um very specifically Am I, am I buffering? Yeah. What I'm, what I'm most worried. Oh no. Yeah. What I'm most worried about is that I'll lose access to my saves. You know what I mean? Oh God. It changes the pesto depending on who is eliminated last, like who's left in the end. Like genuine question, should I tell you or not? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Also, I have to do Oh my god. This is starting to this is starting to piss me off. I have to do yet another ad time. You're gonna have to be you're gonna have to be um skipping a lot on the VODs because A, I'm getting internet issues, and B, there's it's I don't know what's going on. Alright, anyway. Uh, what I will do is...
Okay, never mind. Well, I'll do it ad time still, but there's an issue with the um with the goddamn thing. Anyway. Ad time, guys. Are you sitting comfortably? Enjoying the stream, maybe? Do you want more content while being able to support the streamer in question? Well, why don't I introduce you to Twitch Prime? Or subscribing, wh whichever works. By subscribing to this channel, you directly support me and the content I'm trying to make. Whether it be pretending to be scared by random horror game 483. Or maybe losing my mind in just another rage game that I've found from the dark depths of Steam. Subscribing allows me to put more budget and effort into the things you love to see week in and week out. If you subscribe, you get a fancy little icon next to your name that you can flex to others about how cool you are. The longer you're subscribed, the cooler your icon gets. And that's not all. Twitch subscribers get access to a super secret chat in my Discord server where you can chat with fellow rich kids. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Are, are you serious? This wasn't part of the script. <sighs> fellow patrons and suggest games for me to play and things for me to watch. You can also chat to me after streams for exclusive looks at new videos. But wait, there's more. Each week I also have movie nights where we watch the latest and greatest films as well as some classics. So what are you waiting for? Go and subscribe or use your Twitch Prime to get a free subscription. And now back to whatever it is we were doing. And we're back. Oh, now it's getting super creepy. All right, are you guys ready? Have you heard her? <laughs> Have you heard her, Gregor? Sometimes, sometimes when the rain gets faint, I think I can hear her whispering. I haven't heard anything like that. When she's whispering. It's like she's trying to tell you something, right? Yes. Oh God, look at it. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's that's well. If that's custom drawn, that's really well done. But that reminds me of what those YouTubers do to edit their face in the thumbnail. That's cool. Oh no, his face went back to normal. I sometimes hear her crying through the radio, but that's just a game theory. AKA a broadcast. Right? Oh God, look at the eyes. Look at those eyes. Ew! I think we should have a <laughs> Oh God, look at it. Look <laughs> it's so, it, it works. It's goofy as hell, but it works. It's like, um, like, I think we should have another piece of meat for breakfast. One step closer to Maria is what you would want it. What's gotten into you, Anatoly? Anatoly's eyes look at you begging. Oh God, what's that one? Why does that look like? Why did that look like a taint? Why does his mouth look like a taint? Oh my God, oh my God, that that actually that I was like, <laughs> bring us another slab, please. He clearly doesn't have the stomach for it. I can't get the taste out of my mouth. Please help me. Uh, 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 Anatoly. Why was Anatoly pugging? He's like. <laughs> Gregor looks pained at Anatoly's words. I think he's right. Please bring us more of that meat. You grab some of the meat from your secret hiding place. You cut it into squares, adding to the boiling cauldron water. It will taste bland without any seasoning, but you need to serve it up right away. Mm. Also, um, has anyone, um, oh God, why is this buffering so much? Uh, you know what? Let me do a quick test. Let me do Let me do a quick, quick test. Marco. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Holy shit. That was 12 seconds. What the fuck? That's 15 seconds. What the fuck is with this buffering? Can I change the bitrate? 
I might just I might just force a little bit rate. One sec. All right, forcing another forcing lower bit rate. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Hopefully it doesn't drop as much. He says. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, I just realized something. I just realized something. Wait, I just realized something. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lads. I'm not going to lie, fellas. I think I, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think this is what, the, okay, this is what I think. I actually genuinely think we're scranning. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Mariah's not coming back. Mariah's not, Mar Mar in fact, Mariah's already back. That's all I'm going to say. She's already back. We're scranning. She's, she's already here. We're scranning, Mariah. We are, I think I think we are because what what else? What's taking so long? Boiling poison. It looks almost done. Patience. Wait, are you playing this blind? Yes, this is my first playthrough. It's finally finished. You serve the meat in bowls. Gregor drinks the broth first before swallowing the chunks whole. Like a duck does when eating bread. See, why are we like describing it so intensely? Anatoly creates ripples in the broth using the spoon. He isn't eating. I'm I'm sorry about earlier, everyone. I I don't know what overtook me, but, but Mariah. Anatoly begins to weep. You look over at Karen. You didn't notice I even start to eat. There's just an empty bowl now. God damn, that was quick. <gasps> Karen is staring right at you. Why is Karen staring at me? How much more meat is left? You explain how most of it has gone bad. This is the last of it. G how can you be so down on the ground? <laughs> it's just not even English. You remember Karen's knife. You need to think fast. Wait around again. The strawberry is ending. You clear your throat. <clears throat> Anatoly? Uh, yes? I think tomorrow you should look for Maria. Or forage for plants outside. I... I think you should go tomorrow, boy. Nobody else can identify edible plants like you. I, I, please, Anatoly, you could swim back after a few hours. <laughs> Gregor is right, Anatoly. Maybe you'll find me out there. I think Maria's fine by herself. He still hasn't accepted what happened yet. She, she, she doesn't need anyone's help. But we need your help, Anatoly. That's right, Anatoly. Please help us. Uh, well, let me sleep on it. Okay. No problem, boy. Mm. Oh, wait, oh, oh, this motherfucker dead. Oh, this, oh, this fucker is dead. 
No, this man is, is, is dead. Like, no joke. No joke. This, bi this bitch dead. That's all I'm going to say. All right. I feel like we should... I feel like... What if we were friends with Karen the whole time? You go to bed, Ravenous. No, seriously. Hey! Hey, stop whispering! Mariah. Something is approaching. What was that? Hey! Like... Ah! Hi! Hi! Don't be a cryberry! Don't, don't be a crybaby! It's just me! Onion. Not going to be very sweet today. I'm worried about Anatoly. He's going to cave to peer pressure! Can you stop him from leaving the cabin? You don't answer Onion. Please? Don't you trust me? You shake your head. Uh, um, um, uh. I got a fun factoid for you. Did you know that leaving out an unpeeled onion in your room absorbs bacteria? It will help prevent colds and water virus it. What do you mean by that? Um, shit. Onion. That was a lie. Oh, what a what a trickster! I knew it was a lie. I knew it was bullshit. The fun factoid of that myth: people actually believed it in the 1500. How embarrassing! Who would believe that? Ha ha ha! There even was a doctor in 1919 who caused a surge of people believing it. Ha ha ha! Anyways. You know what smells like raw onion left in a room? Boy, boy. You! It's been a while since your last bath, right? You can't remember. Oh, we're stinky. Could smell you before I even came into the room. We just got an achievement saying don't be a crybaby. Onion. Yikes. So, can you stop Anatoly from leaving? Well, maybe. I know he has cabin fever, but this is ridiculous. It will be impossible to stop a grown man from leaving. Please. We don't need another one stalking the hallways. Oh. Tapping on the windows. Crying through the radio. You have the sudden urge to scream. Ah! Why do you think I've been using the mouse holes to get around? Onion. Scared to death that I'll run into her! Don't make me tattle to cabbage about you. She can be as mean as potato if you get on her bad side. Onion, onion. Just kidding! She's great! Anyways, when the time comes, just tell Anatoly you care about him and don't want him to leave. Even if it's for me. Okay? You can trust me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to work on some new ice skates. They made of butter slices, so I can skate around the frying pan. Later! Your mind, find, your mind manages to finally forget about what happened. So, should we try and go for other ones now? Because I feel like we're going to start to get endings in the next, like, hour or so. Like, I don't know. You fall asleep again, still ravenous. Day 
Satan! I told you day nine is where all the creepy shit starts happening. And you guys didn't believe me. You have a strange dream. A fox is collecting payments in your living room. You despise him. So you put two dogs at the bottom of a sack, then add six chickens on top. Oh! The fox smiles at you and leaves. At some point in his journey, the fox will eventually open the sack and the dogs will tear the fox in half. Filled with such loathing for the fox, you gave him the only things you had for food. All of those chickens. As there's no piles up outside, you begin to eat whatever you can find. Pillowcases, candles, leather. One day you wake up and you have nothing left to eat. Absolutely nothing. Just an insatiable hunger. A few days later, you go mad and leave the cabin completely ravenous. A nearby tree looks like charred meat. Your iron teeth cut through the tree bark, tearing your gums apart by the splinters. Your mouth fills quickly with blood. Days later, a deer gallops by, the first creature in the woods to see your corpse. You wake up in a cold sweat. No jump scare? Oh. Huh. Something smells terrible in the living room. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did he do? Wait. 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 I don't think I don't, I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm prepared for what I'm what I'm fixing to see. All I'm going to say All I, all I'm going to say I something smells terrible. I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, spaghetti. Yep, it's it's gonna get worse. Hopefully it's vomit. Hopefully it's vomit. Have we even been to the um basement yet? Didn't we refuse? Didn't we refuse to do it? Like, I'm trying to think. I don't know, man. I don't have the sound on, so I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's just because no one's taking a bath. Maybe. That's true. That's true. You tried, but it won't let you. Oh God, there is a basement. There's something. There's something. I know there's something. Oh, see, I do like this Easter egg where if you leave it for too long, um, if you, if you leave it for too long, what's it called? Oh my God. Hmm. Someone's gonna die. I have a feeling. I hear footsteps. What if we what if we leave it for a long time? What if we actually leave it for a long time? No, seriously. What would happen? I'm trying to listen to what they're saying. It's like she's coming. This is your hell. Um It might be what's on the radio. All right, let's just keep going. Why is it not letting me click out of it? All right, here we go. Oh, it's just someone puked in a corner. I thought it was going to be something worse. I thought it was going to be something worse. Oh, I thought it was going to be. Oh. 
You wipe it up with a rag to save them the embarrassment. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, boy. Oh, we just got an achievement saying bad ideas. And it has... Karen's face looks insane. So... I think that might have spoiled a bit. Anyway. Well, Anatoly, what's your decision? I barely slept last night. Her whispers came through one of the holes in the floor. She kept telling me to come outside. Um, we don't want to rush you. All right, I'm going to quickly save again. Man, there's so many save files. We, we, we don't want to rush you. But one of us puked last night. So that's what that smell was? Anatoly. My patience is wearing thin. You have one hour to make a decision. Oh, why, oh, why so quickly? Mm. Because I'm not waiting any longer! You can see the glint of Karen's knife under her dress. Best to watch out for that knife. Oh! Karen! Karen! Oh, you! You silly goose! Oh, you sassy Sue! The group disperses. Tension seems to be rising. You have one hour to kill. What do you want to do? All right. Chompets Karen basement. Ooh. Basement. Basement? What are we saying? Let's go to the basement. <gasps> Bro, look at that pose. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking at Anatoly's pose, right? There's gonna be something that shows up in that hole over there. You know that that hole where that, that hole where his elbow is? There's gonna be some there's gonna be something or someone there. I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. Anatoly looks pale. Uh, thanks for coming over. Anatoly seems comforted by your presence. Your relationship is stronger! You notice how there's just... It's not even like... Bro, the horror... The, like, it's, just gone, it's just gone all in with the horror. Gregor told me he said Mariah. I'm sure Karen isn't being honest with me. H have you checked out the, the, the basement door closely? Every so often, I can I can see a peeking now at me through the holes. I, I really don't want to drown outside, but at least I won't have to have her tormenting me anymore. You know, it's in the basement, don't you? Can I guess? Can I guess? I didn't think I would spend my Saturday watching the stream in VR chat, Lamau. Oh, if you're in VR chat, hi, hello. Do we tell him? I think I know. I think I now know. Of course you do. How else would you keep us fit? Dude. Dude. Anatoly looks like he's going to puke. P -p Please get away from me. Anatoly leaves your vicinity. It looks like Anatoly will remember that. You call everyone together for a meeting. Oh no! Oh no, indeed. Anatoly, you okay, boy? Anatoly looks pale, like he's going to pass out. Anatoly. Have you made? Have you made a decision? Uh, yes. I'll help you all out. I promise. No! He's going! He's going! He's going! He's going! Thank you, Anatoly. Big tears roll down Gregor's cheeks. Big tears. Ow! I'll miss you, big guy. I'll miss you, boy. Huh. Thank you, Anatoly. 
I know this wasn't easy, but it was for the best. Oh, he's, oh, he's gone. Wait, hang on. Who the fuck? Bro, I thought there was something there. K Karen. Yes? I. Gregor looks at you expectantly. Did you want to say anything to Anatoly? You say nothing. Oh no. Uh, I. Goodbye, Anatoly. Goodbye, everyone. Good luck, boy. Anatoly has left the. Uh, I'm like, what? Yeah, we're eating. Bro, we are eating. Anatoly. We're, we're eating. Anatoly. Yum. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, yum. See you soon, boy. Hmm. I guess all we can do now is wait. Good night. Karen goes to the bedroom to sleep. I... I didn't tell him the truth. Gregor's getting choked up. I didn't tell him. Missing him already. Gregor curls up on the couch tonight, turning his back to you. You shut your eyes, quickly falling asleep. Oh no! Oh! You hear a scraping from the floor. Oh no! Found you? What do you mean, found me? Ah you explain how this isn't a good time right now. This is no laughing matter. I'm worried about Gregor. He's about as tall as a tree, but dumb as a brick. What's the root of that? Uh, another cornbread classic. You're being very unpopular right now. That's a tree reference, get it? <laughs> Anyways, you need to protect Gregor from the red haired woman. I told you! I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. I thought that bitch was sus from day one. Cabbage called, Cabbage called an emergency chump at meeting and told me to give you this mission. Watch out for that knife and protect Gregor at all costs. Huh? Understood. I, yeah. You nod. You let's nod. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright, let's nod. <laughs> yes. It's the yeast. <laughs> right. That was terrible. Now I don't want to help. You tell Brett that the pun didn't make sense. Hello? Why is it not working? Okay, I got worried. On a roll today! I'll see you at- wait. Wait. Can we not look around? Why can't we- We can't look around. Bread hops away, squeezing himself through the mouse hole with a small pop. There's a note there. Can we not read the note? You fall asleep thinking about what Bread told you. You have a strange- ANOTHER ONE! It's lying on the table in front of you. You take off the glasses first, partially cracked, and sent them down to the workbench. Working the saw, you wrap the cuts in an old newspaper. Some of it gets soggy immediately, so you begin trying the cuts of the towel before wrapping. Hey Thap, glad to be able to jump into a stream. I'm recovering from dental surgery today and I've actually been wanting to see you play this game for a while, so I'm really hyped. Thanks for being cool. Hey, no problem. I'm enjoying it so far. Are you guys enjoying it? I saw the glasses and I instantly knew. I bin you. I I bin you. I d d We're sus from day one. Ow. One second. Where is my um Sorry, I'm 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 away right now. Let me just I gotta get something real quick. Where is? Where the hell is it?
I haven't seen. So I need I need my phone. I threw it somewhere, and now I can't find it. So I want you guys to behave. I'm gonna pause. I want you guys to behave yourselves while I'm gone, and uh, let me know if anything crazy happens. All right, guys, anything crazy happen? Did anything crazy happen that I missed? I think I had small whispers. To be fair, it's actually kind of scary how quiet it is. Like, it, should, it shouldn't be this quiet. It's instantly sus if it's this quiet. All right, give me one second. I also need to do... What one more thing? I think it's I think there's an inter there there's an I think there's an internet uh issue in my building because uh I've had like I've said in the beginning, guess how many guys guys round guess how many dropped frames I've had? Guess guess how many? Guess five thousand sixty-nine several thousand twenty at least uh, I have had uh forty three thousand three hundred and seventy nine, and counting because it's still, it's still really bad. My God. Oh my God! Thank God, hundred bits. E, thank you. All right, one second. God, there's so many things I have to, there's so many things I have to keep at. God, it's 6% of the whole stream is cut down. So I have to constantly pause it and I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Um. All right, all right, here we go. There's more. I wonder what the I wonder what they're actually saying in the whispers. Like I genu I genuinely wonder. That's twenty three minutes of frames. Who? Oh God, sorry. All right, let's continue. Let's continue our forage into hell. I think my editors will enjoy editing this one. All right, back to game. Some of it gets soggy immediately, so you begin drying the cuts with a towel before wrapping. Much better. You hear something approaching, so you clench your fist and get ready to strike whatever's coming for you. You wake in a cold sweat. Oh, there's no image. We, we're here for 11 days, bro. It's almost been two weeks at this point. Come on, we need to, at this point. Can't we just like Uber or something? Can't we, do, can't we just like call the cops? You wake in a completely different place. Did you sleepwalk or you found some meat? Hey, it's my first stream. Welcome, Mad Manoxy. Everyone, is it Mad Manoxy? Yeah. Mad Manoxy, everyone welcome them in the chat right now. Do it. Also, that's obviously, that, that, that is, that is, that is Anatoly. That's Anatoly. Everybody's still asleep. What's this fly? 
this would be after this would be a nice surprise after yesterday's events. You decide you cook breakfast for everyone. Cutting each slice fairly thin. You brown each side in the oven. The smell is unique. Karen runs into the kitchen! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so sorry, I was <gasps> what? What is the smell? Give it to him. Give it to me. Now. Now. You don't argue. Karen grabs a cutlet, burning a handful, bringing it to her mouth. Ah! She hungrily devours it, barely chewing. She grabs another cutlet onto the plate and eats it. Man, this greedy ass bitch. Fuck off, man. It's for everyone. You thought she was concerned with rationing. Gregor wakes up from the couch and he heads into the kitchen. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. Already? Gregor looks conflicted. You have a good scream, Thaf. Really? Do I? But he succumbs to the hunger. I thought you were saying you have a good stream and I was going to say goodbye. They always do. Gregor eats his food in a few bites, carefully grabbing a second cutlet. The tears start streaming down his face, but he doesn't make a sound. You join them in a meal, quickly consuming the meat on the table. <sighs> I can think straight again. We'll be out of here in no time. No need to ration anything now. Karen is sounding more determined than before. I, I'm going to lie down on the couch. Try to keep this food down. Gregor crawls onto the couch, turning his back to you. Karen leans in to whisper. I'm glad Maria and Anatolia are gone. They were stopping us from bonding properly. Monica! 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 <laughs> How did you get so good at it? You tell Karen. After one bite, it just made me feel whole again. Even with the nightmares, it's worth it. It took a few nights, but I fought back. And now it's all I can think about. I read the book on necropsy. The text is ancient, but the diagrams are beautifully drawn. Very descriptive. How many years did it take for you to perfect the craft? You tell her. I told you! I called it! I called it! Didn't I call it, editor? I called it. I called it, didn't I? I called it. <gasps> yeah, right. I used to tell Mariah that you weren't funny. But that's not true. Sorry about that. You've... You've grown on me. Karen pauses, deep in thought. You know Gregor can't swim, right? He'd be the next to leave. But he doesn't stand a chance outside. They always seem to come back, right? In one way or another. Why wait for him to come back? Karen hands you a vial of liquid. I think you know what needs to be done. This is a strong anesthetic. Don't ask me how I found it. I want you to slip this into Gregor's mug tonight. This is for the best. He won't feel any pain until he wakes up. All you have to do is stand back and let me work on him. This request is beyond extreme. Will you do this for me? Let's start with... Fuck, what, is, what the fuck is going on with the stream? Um...
Which one are we gonna do? God, why is I don't get why 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 the internet's so fucking bad. In fact, you know what? You know what I might do? Oh well, never mind. It disconnected. Okay, all no, right. Exclusive second channel stuff in the meantime, I guess. Let me just take this. And let me take this. I, it's it's disconnecting. It's just constantly disconnecting. It's actually a, a fucking joke. All right. <sighs> For God's sake. Um, You guys are probably really far back. You guys are probably really far back. Um, so I'm going to do a quick test. Uh, Marco. That was 12 seconds. That was 12 seconds. This is fucking annoying. All right. Anyway, should we do it? Should we do it? I'm going to ask a question, actually. Why don't you do it? I need to psych myself up for what's next. Is it now? You have to psych yourself up for what's next, eh? This is my first time. And I want it to be perfect. Okay. I'll say yes to start with. But I'll say no. Actually, wait. No or yes? Mods! Mods! I need a poll! Yes or no? I'm just waiting for the poll. Where's the poll? Where's the poll, mods? I'm on mobile. All right, I'll do it myself. I have to do everything by myself. I have to do everything by myself. I should get you the better Twitch app. Um, do I do do I do it? Yes. No. Okay. Well, the, the, the overwhelming majority of you are going for no. I think it's no. I think it's no. It's like, no. All right, fine. Oh, I just got an achievement saying the right decision. Fair enough. Fine. Save that for a rainy day. I have everything set up by the couch. You don't have to watch. The restraint should be easy to apply myself. Gregor's strength is a farce. Gregor? Hi. Uh-oh. Hey, Karen. What are you doing? Untie me! Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Oh, my God! This will be over soon, Gregor. <laughs> Stop! Stop! G <laughs> Gregor has turned silent. You leave her alone, going into the bedroom and crawling into the bed Anatoly slept in. You fall asleep almost instantly. Day 12. 
Wake up, sleepyhead. Why is the box different? Hey, whoa. Who's there? Hang on. Hang on. No, wait. Hold up. Hold. Who the fuck is there? How did she get in? Who's in the back? Who is that? Monica, get out of my game! Ah, oh, that's the default visual novel text box! I don't remember what comes next. We have to send to something sometime soon. Really? What? Oh, shit. Well, you were having a nightmare. Thanks for letting me practice last night. I think I did a great job. That looks like Mariah's PNG. That looks like- that looks like Mariah's PNG. Why you got Sayori colors, huh? Made us awesome breakfast this morning to celebrate. Why is you to, why you why 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 is you like that? Are you gonna do a creepy face now? You're all close in the Minecraft bed. Breakfast with what? That's a surprise. Greg already finished his. Took a few hours, but he caved. Come on, let me show you. You get out of bed and head to the living room. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! What did we do? Why? He's a little weak from the blood loss, but don't worry. Banded him up like a field medic. I... What is it, Gregor? What? Wh where am I? God, you're stupid. Maybe if you spent as much time reading books as chopping wood, you would have noticed the pages I was bookmarking in the necropsy book. What are you talking about? Do I have to spell it out for you? You can't swim. How are you supposed to help us out when you'd immediately drown? You'd sink like a log. What? I put some of your limbs away for safekeeping. That leg was pretty tasty, huh? Gregor goes pale. How's that for a big breakfast? <laughs> oh, well timed. Thank you. Skillless you. <laughs> and don't try to crawl away. If you leave this couch, I'll end you. <laughs> I don't want any of it to go bad. So we'll have to eat that fresh arm when everything else is gone. Speaking of which, I'm going to start cooking another chunk. I'll leave you two alone to chat. This has gone too far. Hey. All I wanted to do was to keep everyone alive and together. But I failed at that. Oh no, Gregor, don't blame yourself. Are you... Are you disappointed in me? No, actually. At least Gregor tried. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Growing up, nobody had to tell me to be big and strong. It just happened naturally. My mother always made sure I never went hungry. Seconds, thirds, fourths, and yet I complained my belly was not full. One day on my way home from school, I was walking by the town inn and smelled something amazing coming right out of a pile of trash. I dug through it and discovered a bag and they threw away a meal that was fresh out of the oven for some reason. At least that's what I thought. I became ill with food poisoning. I hugged the toilet and cried for hours. My mother rubbed my back and eventually carried me to bed. I learned nothing from that experience. Like everywhere else, I was just there for the food. I'll never get this foul taste out of my mouth. She's going to keep eating me. I'm sorry. 
Getting too lightheaded to hold a good conversation. <laughs> She's going to torture me again. You know that, right? You nod. Gregor grows a little more pale. Can you? Can you cover me with a blanket? I've never been this cold. This cabin, it chills me to the bones. Or what's left of them. He's <laughs> a... He's, he's still he's a good joker. He's still a good joker. Even at this even at this situation. Please. Consider it my dying wish. Yes. Oh, oh he's wrapped up in a blanket. That's all. Oh. Thank you. Much warmer now. Watch out for that knife, okay? Gregor begins to look at peace. I... Why does it look bait for a jump scare? Oh wait, his eyes! His eyes, are, they're losing the spark in them! Oh! You watch the last of Gregor's air escape, escape his lungs. Yeah, the lights escape from his eyes. I knew. Oh! Achievements unlocked. Goodbye, Gregor. Man. Fuck. I think it would have hurt more if we constantly. Um. I think I think it would have hurt more if we actually constantly did the relationship thing with Gregor. Damn, he was calling out for Anna. Oh, he was calling out for Anna Tolly before he died. Anyway, what the hell do you think you're doing? You tell Karen that Gregor gave up. We could have kept him alive for another week. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no matter. Plenty of food left now. Karen leaves you alone. You head to the kitchen to try and find the other remains. Gregor. You look at the pile of dishes and your mind starts to wonder. Hello. Let's play hide and seek. Why is it Sonic.exe reverse music now? There's five of us to find. Can you find all of us? The red-haired woman should know where the basement key is. And I bet one of us is hiding down there. She's whittling something in the rocking chair right now. So watch out for that knife. Probably best to avoid the knife. Wait. I... I... Isn't that your knife? Why did you let her have it? You shrug. I don't know. I... Uh... As the leader of the trumpets, it's, it's, it's important that you find all of us. So, so, so please do not forget any of us. Good, good good luck! Cabbage rolls away and tries to hide. Why would Cabbage want to play hide and seek right now? You have been neglecting the trumpets lately. Can't hurt to play along with them, right? You go to talk to Karen in the living room. Uh-oh! Her face is gonna go all creepy, innit? Looks like Karen's just slicing away out a block of wood. Gregor's remains have been stored for safekeeping. Scrubbed all the blood out of the couch to save you the trouble. Can I help you? Have you? Should I just straight up ask? Or knife or the key? I'm going to do key and see what happens. Have you seen the basement key anywhere? Wasn't it in the kitchen? You can't remember. I haven't seen the key. Maybe one of the trumpets can help you find it in the kitchen. Decide to go look for it. 
Thankfully, there's not too many places for cabbage to hide. Where do you want to check first? Oh, shit. He's going to have more choices. Cupboards. Open a few drawers. Empty? Most of all, the dishes are piling up. Yikes. Open another. Dried blood in it. This drawer's empty too. Are all of these empty? More empty cupboards. These would have been great places to store spare meat. Five. You completely missed underneath the sink. <gasps> oh! On the left side, the letter L is engraved. Oh no, they just said L Bozo. Who wrote this? One more time. You completely missed underneath the sink. Letter L's engraved. Oh, that's a new sound. All right, fine. Wood pile. Nothing but cobwebs. Thankfully, no spiders. Actually, there's more behind the wood pile. You might need the sensor. All right, fine. I'm not showing it to you. Quite a few rat droppings. So there's a good collection of cobwebs and rat droppings now. Behind the wood pile. The dust is pretty thick back here too. Cobwebs, rat droppings, and dust. This should really be cleaned. All right, one more time. Yep, still filthy back here. All right, cauldron. Here's some rustling around. Oh, I found her! Well, I'm, not, I'm still not showing you. She always picks the same hiding spot. Cabbage. Ah, you found me. Well done. You've spotted a difference. As leader of the chumpettes, getting through the mouse holes is a chore. Can't find any chumpettes to push me through. So I guess you'll have to help me out. Cabbage has joined the party. Four chumpettes to go. All right, hmm. Which one do I want to do? What's, what's next, Cabbage? Yeah, I'll do that. Glad you asked. Keep it up. You'll be a member of the Chumpets in no time. Wait. Oh, no. Okay, I've got a new theory. The Chumpets know a lot about the house, implying we've been there before and no one else has seen them. What if, what if the Chumpets were the previous tenant? Think about that. Instead of the spirits, what if they were the previous tenant? What if this is some Andy's Apple Farm shit? No, like, seriously. Oh shit, I think I, might, I think I might get it. I think I might get it. You asked Cabbage about the basement key. <laughs> Did you forget again? It's right in that nasty oven. There's nothing but a big pile of ashes in the oven. You found the basement key. Yeah. There it is. That's to the room where we found potato. Check behind the cauldron for the other one. You got the basement entrance key. Let's go find Onion. He's hiding in the bedroom. She's making hide and seek find too easy. Far, 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 far too easy. We keep dying in an oven. Maybe that is the pre maybe that is the previous tenant. Chumpets! Find Onion! Cabbage rolls down the hallway. Can't hurt to find Onion, right? Only thing we can do. There's a f found him. There's a bone there. Don't be a crybaby. It's just me. Today, I'm sweet as a sugar cane. Honest. Wow, your breath stinks. Drench head to toe and sweat too. Ew, ew. Could smell you coming from a mile away. Gross. <laughs> you know I'm gross. Gross. Were you scared of the redhead woman or something? You tell Onion the truth. Whoa. Oi. Sounds like I missed some messed up stuff. You get a pass. I'm sorry to hear about Mariah, Anatoly, and Gregor. But yikes. Oi. That's three people gone in less than a month. 
Not as bad as five people in one night, though. I knew it. I knew it. I will probably lose my lunch if I had to see that again. There's something in the basement. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my God. There's five, there's, there, there are five corpses in that basement. Anyways, didn't mean to be rude. I got you back. Onion has joined the party. Hello. Glad to have you join us, Onion. Boy, boy. No problem. There's nothing else to do today. That's not true. I heard bread making noise in the living room. You know how loud he can get. Cabbage. Bread? The one and only. Trumpets! Uh -huh. Let's move out. Your party's quickly expanding. Three trumpets left. You're getting a terrible headache. And your face is feeling numb. And your legs aren't moving. Oh well. You do some time breathing exercises for a few minutes. That seemed to help. You suddenly feel a second wind coming on. Time to get that bread. You probably shut up to the living room, happy to be alive. Also, that floor, I know about that floorboard. Well, we took a perk. Hmm, bread. You hear bread come out of the mouse hole. He's taking a sweet time. Found me. Everyone's secretly favorite trumpet bread. Don't you love me? Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha ha. My cousin Cornbread told me that one. He has hundreds. No, thousands of terrible puns. He's my role model. So, what do you need? You tell Bread about gathering the trumpets together. That's a pretty crumby idea. Remember what happened last time? With potato. I mean... We all chose to be in that drawer, but this? You're going against the whole grain here. Do you really think we want to go back downstairs? Hmm. Cabbage. Bread, we need your help finding potato. Anya. Missed you, big guy. Come help! I would never let the trumpets down. No need to pass my culinary quiz. I'm coming with you! Damn, everyone's joining. All right, give me a second. I, while we're, at, while we're at this and we're getting more people, I'm going to initiate a very quick ad time once again. Hey everyone, welcome to my aircraft hangar that I definitely got for free. Um, it was given to me by a relative, I think. Anyway, you're probably still not convinced to subscribe to the channel. No, I am not. Please show me the benefits. <laughs> well, worry no more. Here are some of the benefits.
And we're back. All right. Back to hell. Back in. Back into hell. Hopefully, um. Man. All right. Let's see that again. Go to the bathroom. The thing is, the buffering is a bit too much. How long? How much longer of the game do we have left? Because there's a big issue right now with the internet not working, and I feel like it might uh, disconnect soon. Glad to have you on board, Bren. Of course. Wait. Are you drooling? All three chumpets are staring at you. Are you thinking of eating us? You accidentally lick your lips. Why did the why the whoa? Why did the the thing? Why 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 did the the pitch of the voice go lower? Uh oh. You already ate. We're no good for that. You glutton. Oh, here we go. And the lights are gonna be out. Is there? Did they? Did they pass out? Holy cow! Get them up. So heavy. How? How? What the fuck? You stumble to your feet. Let's uh go find Raspberry. Never speak of this again. I think I over by the hut over by the basement door. Hmm. See, I want to see the thing. The thing is, is that if I, I'm only going to get one ending and then I'll make a part two with other endings. But I just want to know how close to one there is. Because I don't want to end it and then be like, oh no, we fucked up. So I think it being almost four hours in, I think I might call it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might. I think I might. I think I might call it and keep you guys in suspense for tomorrow. Yeah, that might be. That might be the wave. That might. That might. That might be the wave. So, I think what I might do is I'll call it time now. So thank you guys so much for watching this first part of uh cooking companions i think i'm gonna initiate a raid and continue it tomorrow food pun ha ha funny me funny laugh funny man. <laughs> food pun no fuck all right uh who are we gonna raid 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 who are we going to raid? Who is live that I can raid at this moment in time? I don't think anyone is live, but I will save it. I will save it for uh, later. I'll say I'll save for later. I think I think we'll um, I th I think we should I think we can do it tomorrow because I really want to finish the game, but I'm getting tired. And also the internet issues are really pissing me off. So thank you guys so much for watching the stream. And if you're on the VOD channel, I'll see you later. And on the second channel, I'll continue the recording uh, tomorrow. So I will see you guys in another stream. I'll be on the Discord server. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Make sure your Twitch account is linked to your Discord account because you'll get access to the super secret chat where I talk about stuff and things. And I will see you guys in another stream. Bye guys.